Welcome to Waluigi World. <laughs> right? If only, you, if only that was true. Oh, I don't get my own game. No, well, you Do got... I at least get to be a player two? No. no There's sorry. no player two. There's no player two. Oh. Oh well. Yeah, you're gonna. Have I'm gonna to go get it. psychic powers. Yeah, good. That'll that'll make you stand out from everybody else. I Instead feel of being like the one that like the sports. I feel <laughs> like if Mario's the the ra well-rounded one, yeah, and Wario's the super strength <laughs> one. And Luigi's the super jumping one. Yeah. Well, Luigi would be the speed guy. Like, he'd be Mario Sonic. He'd be so He's he'd got be the Sonic. longest leg, so he's got a big running stride, right? Yeah, he, that actually makes a lot of sense. Damn it, why didn't they do that? Because they've never tried to give to give they're him not, anything. Well, Luigi cannot give, have anything. Like, people complain about Luigi being in his brother's shadow, but Luigi, like, is in a much better position than fucking Waluigi. We joke about Waluigi just, nah, I don't want to be in this game. But really, that's Wario. He's the guy who's comfortable where he is. No, I don't want to be in that stupid Mario game. I'm enjoying my castle! He, he full of riches! The only time he did it was when he was promised cake. There, were, there was cake. Yeah. Which means he won't do it for money, but he'll do it if the food's good enough. I'm sure maybe he was planning to steal some castle riches while he was there. <laughs> Oh, hey, welcome to, uh... I'm gonna do this level, because this level's a bitch, and then you can take the jungle one if you want to. I'm good. <laughs> wow. Oh, the snow. You can get stink sunk in it. Yes. So this level is fun, quote-unquote, <laughs> because there are these slides that you go down. And yeah. there's one right here. And if you miss something on the slides... To bed! Go get to on bed. the balloons and come back. Yep, you yeah. gotta start the whole level over again to get your things. Are the snowmans defeatable? No. What'd I miss? I'm gonna miss something. No, there's uh, nothing to collect there's on that, that one. Uh, I think yellow. I can get back up there. Okay. There's like a gold statue in the middle of one of the slides. There are more than one. Not dinosaurs. Now there's snow things. There's snow oh, fuck off. Super snow, all like, uh, enemies. This, uh, oh my god, this sounds like Pokemon music, by the way. This? Yes, this, this sounds, is so Hoenn, it's Hoenn Trumpets. This just sounds like generic Christmas shit. It's, it's Pokemon music, but with jingle bells in the background. <laughs> Kanto's, a, a Kanto Christmas. No, it's, it's Hoenn. Ruby Sapphire was, uh, renowned slash loathe slash ask whatever anyone's opinion is about using abundant MIDI trumpets in the soundtracks. <laughs> oh, I don't think I was supposed to be up here yet. Whatever, you're here now. So... Oh, it's a log cabin bonus level. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ow! Pokemon... So does okay. Pokemon have a Christmas, you think? Uh, do, they, do they celebrate something? They have Arce they, they have Arceus Day. Arceus Day, where they all worship the Pokemon Arceus. Sure. I mean, they have a they have a Santa Pokemon. I. Uh, it's you know, not explicitly associated with any holiday, though. So. You know, you know what's funny is that uh, that a lot of fan people are like going, "Oh, praise Arceus!" and you know, yeah. whenever instead of God, they go, "Mow my Arceus." Yeah. Are, uh, but then some people are like, no, that's stupid. Yeah? So, what, in, in your opinion, are you pro uh, Arceus worship or are you uh, an Arceus atheist? Uh, I mean, I think Arceus is the creator of Pokeverse, but I don't think he has any desire or need to be worshipped. <laughs> He's much less egotistical than, than our Ju Jewish, Judaic god, whatever, he, Abrahamic. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. He just kind of chills out, and then he shows up if you if you call him with a flute that doesn't exist. Never released. That's... To the, never released. <laughs> I don't think it's even in Japan. There was never an Arceus event. They're they, like, no, no, it's too powerful. They programmed it into the game. There's an item for it, but there was never an event anywhere in the world. <laughs> That's sad. So to this day, he is unobtainable in any legitimate way. You know what? It was I, bad enough. Fair. It was bad enough with, like, Mew and shit. Attack its buddy, the Barrel Buster. Angler, guys. It was bad enough when they had uh, Mew and Celebi, which were, like, timed exclusives. 
They had the events, and then they ended, and then you couldn't get them after that. They didn't even have an Arceus event. I think it's for the best. Like, imagine a god would be less, uh, less omniscient if it allowed itself to be captured. Yeah. You can't, uh, you can't let the, the Catholic Church catch on to the fact that you can catch God. Because, like, there people, somebody made a joke about that, where, like, well, we captured all the elemental forces and stuff, so what do we, uh, what do we catch next? And we catch God! They no, we already got him, too! I'm like, I didn't realize that they actually didn't. Yeah, they, a they absolutely ran out of, like, uh, entities by Generation 4, Diamond and Pearl. So they just created, got, like, got these god Pokemon of space, time, and literally God himself. Oh man, I like uh, Sun Moon in which it had, uh, it had Pokemon Eldritch Abominations. Oh, that as well. That's not even a legendary. No, those aren't even considered Pokemon. Oh, you're talking about the Ultra Beasts. I yeah. thought you meant Mimikyu. The being of such unspeakable horror that one glance will lure you into insanity. You know what? I'm glad that Pokemon had had a proper cosmic horror story uh, uh, plot line. Yeah. And I'm glad it was grim dark. Just, just, just Majora's Mask levels are creepy. Eh, it's, it's mildly dark. If you're it's talking not even about that level, <laughs> if you're talking about like Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Then yeah. there's the. Uh, God damn it. Yeah. Better come back! There's Necrozma, which is like the black hole Pokemon. Oh, really? And uh, what happens if I go down here? Where do I respawn? I'm gonna respawn up there. And, uh, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon adds this, uh, this story of an, a parallel universe that has just had, like, the light stolen from it. Like, they have, they have no sun anymore. Oh my god! And they're just in perpetual darkness with cyberpunk lights everywhere. That sounds like a fucking Pokemon, Aww. like fan project uh, thing. Oh no, it's, it's, it happened now. They made it. Do, they made it happen. It's a okay. Oh, I'd like to see about about that universe. You gotta get uh, the sold that Sun Pokemon to uh, to light things up again. Oh, we got a lot of viewers. People wanted to see Wario. Whoa! <laughs> Sorry, we're talking about Pokemon. But there's Wario going on. Uh, that's okay. We'll stream that again eventually. Oh, it's snow dinosaur fellas. They have little bow ties. They're like ice cream. Yeah, you ever see the movie uh, Jack Frost? Which one? Uh, the horror movie. No, I've seen the. Other one. <laughs> I've seen the family movie where the dad turned into a snowman. Uh, oh yeah, that one. That. <laughs> After dying semi horrifically in a car accident. He dies in a car accident. Is and the last words his son said to him were, "You can keep the fucking flute." <laughs> and then I guess Man. the song felt like shit afterwards. I would I would hope so. Yeah. And then there was a total, uh, I have to go, my planet needs me moment. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I forget how that ended. He it just, ended, it he ended just ended dies? With, uh, it ended with the son of the mob taking the Jack Frost up to the highest point of the mountain. Him realizing that, yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm pro It's probably uh, the end for me. And then, uh... And then he, uh, he turned back into his human form, sang his song, and then left. Like, died or flew off into space? He, uh, he turned into a ghost and just... So that died. Was, that, I mean, he was already dead! Yeah, but... I he, hesitate to use the word die, but because... But he possessed a snowman. He was a, he was a ghost that was doing stuff. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure... I'm sure he couldn't feel anything but cold. Yeah. Warion is machinations. Oh, this is, uh... Can't you just turn them all on to just platform? I could. But why work harder when I can work smarter? Good man! I, li I like the way you think! Well, now that you said that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can't suck up stationary coins. No, they're rooted. They, they're, uh, they've got a... Uh, it's like it atomic... A pinning effect. Yeah, it's like atomic there. force coins. <laughs> what about that world that was just eaten by Guzzlord? Was there a whole world that was eaten? I feel like I remember that. There's actually like a, uh, a mechanic in that game where you can jump between all different worlds. An and Ultra Sun Moon? Yes. Oh, that sounds cool! And it's not, sadly, not as uh, detailed as you might hope. You don't get to see, like, alternate continuities and post-apocalypse and things like that. Oh, man. There's one post-apocalypse world. 
That's the, that the one with the sun went out. No. No? Okay, there are two post-apocalypse worlds. Okay. One where the sun went out, and one where this, like, guzzlord dragon beast thing just ate all of civilization. And it's just Pokemon? Uh, well, the... The way that most of the worlds are, though, it's just a little, like, plateau area where you can encounter legendaries. Oh. So you can just find other generation legendaries, like Mewtwo and the birds and shit. What? That's... That's so weird! By just going to other worlds, where I guess they're, they're there. Just because they were the strong enough, strongest, like, ones, they were strong enough to survive the apocalypse. Or, I guess, or just because they happen to be in those worlds. And Mewtwo's like, what the fuck are you doing here? Nobody oh. exists anymore! Oh, you needed that? No, I, I forgot that I could bash those guys. Go in. Wario. No, oh no, the head was too big. Eh. So now you're in a cave. I saw the, uh... I saw the new WarioWare game, WarioWare Gold. The yeah. one that is fully voice acted. Yeah? It was fully voice acted. <laughs> it wasn't fully voice acted well, though. Uh... Honestly, I thought Charles was or Martinet was actually one of the weaker voices in the game. Oh. I mean, he, he did his Wario. It, it was Wario. No, you fucked up. You Damn. fucked up. But uh, a lot of the other ones, they sounded like Funimation voices. I think they what, got really. I think they got Funimation guys to do the voices. <laughs> I hope that's. I hope you're right on that. I heard Kyle Hebert Gohan as, like, three characters, I swear. <laughs> and I think Jocko, whoever he is, is in it, is using he... the Jocko voice from Dragon Ball Super. Oh, man, as who? What's the game? A uh, little alien fella, appropriately. Okay. That's the I can't believe Aww. WarioWare, of all things, got, like, a fully voice acted. It's the first Nintendo game, and... Quite a while, or the first like Mario kind of universe, and sort of. Said Sunshine. Yeah, they realized it was a mistake in Sunshine, but they did better this time. Yeah, they got they got Funimation voice actors. The voices were well acted and fitting. Oh, that one was confused. Uh oh. Uh oh. Where are you? I'm looking at the. Oh, is the sound out? No, the sound's fine. It's the screen is doing weird stuff. Ah! <laughs> uh, mm. Well, okay, let's restart it. Okay, one sec. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reset the Elgato. <laughs> this music is so fitting now. Hold on a second. Deactivate. I'll be right back. Sorry about that, guys. That hasn't happened since, uh, Mod Nation, when we were using the composite cables. So maybe it wasn't the composite. I don't know. I mean, it was that as well, but... It worked fine last time. I hope the Elgato is not just going. <laughs> that would suck. <laughs> Seems to be fine now. I can't punch electricity. Here. You fake Koopa bastard. Fake Koopa, let's do it! Yeah, that's very generous. With the coins? Yeah. Well, with just the angles. What do you mean? Just how they, uh... Just how steep you can stand. Oh, yeah? Beware the Faddingtons on narrow roads, Wario. If they bounce you, you'll fall. The Faddingtons. Fatty Arbuckles. Good uh, creative name for an enemy. Hit good over here. That's good. Oh. Come here, me. Playable <laughs> jump with it. So, we're not, we don't ha we're not the only ones that have technical difficulties. No? Citing something? 
Uh, what? You seeing something specific? Uh, yes. Um, there's a... There was a, a GDQ that, like, the AGDQ 2018 had a famous bout of, like, technical mishap. Oh, that's uh, not a place you want to have them. No, God. So this guy, uh, Cotty, was doing a run on a game called Arabian Nights. Yeah? It's a hilariously bad game. It was an awful block. Uh, which is the, uh, you know... Awful all, games done quick. They, they play they played really bad games. And yeah. That are fu in, a fun, in a fun way. Not like, uh, not like just games that are... Everybody's having a good time. And then during, uh, during gameplay, their frame Oops. rate just... <laughs> they just tanked? And the frame rate of the game just tanked when it was running pretty smoothly at the time. And he was like, uh, well, okay, we have to restart here. So he, he goes back. He was playing in windowed mode because uh, he, it would allow him to see views and stuff better. And then, uh, and then it, it, when he, uh, when he reloaded it, uh, it, it, it went to the menu and it was running at full screen. And he tried running it again on like windowed mode and it ran into full screen again. And he's like, I don't know what's happened to the. I can't do his. Uh, like, was this all, like, while the timer was going? Yeah, well, the time he's like, he, at a certain point, they stopped the timer, and then he's like, I, I don't know what's happening. It really, really wants to run in full screen right now. Is it okay to run in full screen? And they're like, no, I don't think we can do that. He's like, well, I, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. And so then they painstakingly take the window border, right, and they just close it on the, like, on, like, or, or they expand it on the video. Well, like, the donations compiling in, which is like, oh, man, this... I'm sorry for you guys. And then there's, like, they restart the timer, because the timer sucked at this point. And they're like, three, two, one, go. And then... <laughs> it ran and went to a boat. Yeah. And they're just like, oh, my God! Uh-oh! Yeah, the fighting tins. Fat fuck. I remember this now. This really pissed me off. This particular level. We yeah. saw this particular Unithorn's lair many times. This fucking... Oh, this... Oh, man. I... I wonder... Yeah? What a... How... How uh, fast a run of this can be. I'm sure there are plenty of speedruns of it. You should check him out. This seems like fun. After... I'm so happy to be here. Yes. There's no way to beat them, huh? You just gotta. Uh, you can away. throw enemies at them. I don't think you can do anything with your own power, though. With your own fat power. You can, like, chain them. Here, come here. Alright, I got my ammo. What's that face? Is he just- is he mad? He's- it's like a- it's a Walter. It's like Ice Cream Thomas the Tank Engine. Who was that one really dickish, uh, Thomas the Tank Engine character? I- I don't know. I don't know anything about the Thomas one, the Tank Engine. Well, darn, I don't either. I didn't know the theme song until people started memeing it. <laughs> Is it, what, is it, what are memes now? Like... Things that are popular on the internet, basically. What makes a meme? Which is a question many people have asked. It's like... We're uncovering a, a, like a conscious social phenomenon, and nobody can understand how it works. Yeah. It just is. How about you come to Unithorn's letter, huh? How about that? Oh gosh, I, had, I have a feeling this isn't going to be the last time we'll be done there this episode. Uh, no, we gotta go through this level at least one more time yeah, because of stuff it. we missed. But, there was a little sprite fellow who said that, uh, hey, if you go through this level once, there might be something useful waiting for you to start. So I think they actually made a second set of Bye Bye Balloons that takes you to halfway through the level. Ah, which would be convenient. <laughs> they know it. They knew this one was going to be a pain to navigate. Yes. They knew what they were doing. Yeah. I apologize in advance, but we really like the that way this level is. That doesn't make it okay. 
Come here, I need to bounce on you. Maybe. No. There's nothing up there, but I want to get up there anyway. What other, what other, there's another series that used Snowman as its, like, uh, antagonists for one, uh. Bomberman did that. Uh. Mario 64. Oh, Doctor Who had an episode. I saved it. Uh, Doctor Who had an episode where, uh, they had to fight, like, Snowman controlled by aliens or something. Not by ghost dads. Not, not ghost dads. That was a different movie. <laughs> oh god, you think ghost dads gonna be any more difficult to watch now? Oh, because of Cosby? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh man. Finale, how the game's that short. This game is disappointingly short, many would say. We completed half of it and during one stream. We completed two worlds and we're probably going to get the other two this time. We'll see. I also can check if we have a save file of the minimum completion or not. I'll have to see that afterwards. Apparently it's not just uh, this game that uh, has different quality endings depending on how much treasure you get. Oh, really? They did that in some of the Wario Land games as well. Oh, cool. With, uh, I don't remember which one it is. There's one in which you actually have to save a princess. And depending on how much treasure you get will determine what, like, magic turns her into. Oh! That's kind of... That's... That's, uh... And then she gives you a kiss anyway. Depending on... No matter what she turns into? Uh, yeah. The, like, the minimum is you, you get, like, a little bratty baby kiss and Wario's like, eh, he doesn't really want a kiss from it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Second one is, uh, like, a, a female Wario. She's like an ugly princess. And did he... Does he care? He's still not really interested. <laughs> I wanted to fuck myself. Fuck Waluigi. <laughs> uh, and the third one is her normal, you know, like, teenage princess form. And the, and the last one is, oh, uh, super, like, busty makeup, princess serenity, whatever. Uh, unrealistic standards of beauty. I like the teenage one better. Of course you do. Come here, Barrel Wario, fella. Wario was a porn actor on the Barely Legal series. Yeah? He's like... A, he's like a regular Ron Jeremy. Although... No, that I was think, Mario. You, you think... You think Ron Jeremy is like a hipster? Or like people like hipster like, like reference Ron Jeremy? You think? Think so? I don't know, like, was he ever, like, a successful porn dude? I think so. I don't watch enough of that kind of porn. Fair or enough. any of that kind of porn. <laughs> that was like in the, that was in the era You of, weren't a big Peter North fan? That was in the era of VHS porn. I think we kind of missed that. Yeah. We had the internet. And continue to have it. Yes. We didn't need to, like, tell our parents, no. We gotta get Cinemax. Because that's where all the... That's where all the... get born. Yeah? That's a lot of hits. Oh my gosh. These... Five hits? Come on. Oh wait, how can a fish survive in the snow? It's a snowfish. I don't know, I guess it has lungs. It... It breathes... <laughs> It, uh, it's guilt taking snow. Would that be a, uh... It gets its oxygen from frozen ice. I feel like that would be a, a dumb but fitting title for a horror movie about a killer fish. It breathes. It breathes? Like, it's, it chases you <laughs> oh on land. Oh god, this is actually a really cool title. It breathes. Yeah, it can, like, pursue you on land. Oh man. That reminds me that, uh, Japanese, uh, manga, uh, Gyo. Yeah? Uh, that was it the one- fish, right? Yeah, it's about, like, fish that come up from the sea and they're on, like, these mechanical limbs. And they just keep coming, and they just come after, uh, humans. Yeah? Yeah, and they just attack. There was, a. Uh... At one point, like, the protagonist was, like, chilling at his, like, place. While his girlfriend was like freaking out, and uh, 
And then a shark just attacks them. I have a pro of nothing. What no. do the fish wants? Uh. <laughs> what are they what? Yeah. They... Are they just mad at people? Uh, I, I think it's not the fish's fault. Yeah. That's another one. Yeah, this is uh, this is kind of bonkers. You can't even reset to the top of the slopes. Ow. <laughs> the fish one. I, I, it's not all about the fish, unfortunately. There's like, oh man. How, how does that manga go? I don't actually remember. Yeah? I just, <laughs> I'm sorry, that just, the question just took me off Does no one in the movie ask this? No, it's just, it's a manga. Oh, in the manga? Um, I, I'm sure they do multiple times, but. Is he really interested in killing humans? Is that everything? No. Okay. Bye bye! What's next after this? Uh. As far as the Mario series goes, we have to get. Oh, darn it. Alright, over to Jack. Alright. We have to get a hold of Galaxy. He's away now, but I'm playing. You can tell I'm playing, because I'm, I'm playing all slow and shit. Oh. You stupid- Wait! You charge the owls! That's cool! My parents are coming over, so there might be one more interruption later. Okay, you're dropping something off? Uh, I don't know. They, they said they had something for me. So, I think the middle... Nope! Oh, uh, you... Top. Well, darn. Is there... Nope, just got a speed run. talking about uh we're talking about ron jeremy uh Dar darian asked what was next for this and i said we have to acquire mario galaxy or else play that on emulator we have Somehow. dolphin works so yeah we just found that out so we played galaxy i don't know how much that requires motion controls oh, i hope as little as possible did you get the green chest the chest no the button is activated yeah but where's the chest somewhere <laughs> so the first treasure is on the top of the first slope. Second one, middle? Middle or top? Or maybe it was bottom. I think I we went down remember. the bottom and missed it last time. Yeah, you missed it. Oh, hey, there's, there's another one. Another there's, what? That, see that door? What door? The, that's that the door. Egg, that's the level exit. Oh, okay, never mind. Well, you're good at getting through them. So we don't know where that treasure chest is, either. No. It's probably around there. Back. Far back. And the yellow one is missing as well. Well... This level is so big, you almost have to go through it once just to get all the buttons. And then just scour the thing a second time. Yep. Which is the only reason... Unless the buttons don't deactivate when you get the... No, they do. They All turn right. gray. Both the button and the Are platform do. Behind? Like, you need to just double check uh, Barry's bin at. That's what I'm doing. Okay, 
see, there are actually three of these slopes. Yeah. You got it. I okay, got it. Oh. Oh, we haven't been here yet. There's a whole secret area off of a certain one of those slopes. Damn, and you could miss it. Oh, what are you doing in here, fuck? I wanna fight too. <laughs> Polar bear. Oh, we got out. How come you can get out? <laughs> it's like when Jackie Chan is like fighting that armored creature and it was able to leave the depth. It was like, how come you can get out? Yeah. Meanwhile, this one little girl wasn't able to. Yeah. That poor girl. That was a mildly sad episode. As far as Jackie Chan goes, I guess. Yep. That was a series. Jackie Chan Adventures was not a series that got especially dark ever. Not really. No. Oh. Blue button. Let me go oh. up here before I go down there. I think that's the exit. All right. So there's two paths, basically. Well, no, this is its own separate area, and then it goes back down to the rest of the level that we've been in already. Okay. How's your garlic, Wario? Run! What? Okay. It's okay. <laughs> Is that another? No, that's the sky. I thought that was a, like a light blue button. Man, people would get tired of Christmas after 24-7 of it. Yeah, I think they do. Yeah, so I imagine that the, I mean, I imagine to these uh, denizens of Christmas world, it must be hell. Yeah, we can never leave. <laughs> Halloween Town thought they had it rough. Christmas in California. Ganondorf aerobics! Wrong side. Still wrong side. Oh! My mistake. There are places in the ice caves too high to jump to. You should use the ice mites. Thanks! Wow! We completed the level using their help already, and... We completed the level twice before finding this fucker. Yeah. Why you gotta put him out of the way? He seems like he should be important. Oh. And you fall right into it this one. Oh, hey, there it is! Yep. Chest. I see it. I gotta get up there. I feel like Char the the Mario characters' voices are uh, changing over the years. They're here. Not, not because. Oh. They're here. <laughs> All right, over to Jack. Yep. Just ignore what's gonna happen for the next few minutes. Mom says I can't have them. <laughs> we'll leave that to your imagination. Uh. Well, darn. I guess I'm just heading to the slope. Oh, that's where it is. Okay. All treasure. But we're that one's gonna be in the middle, I'm guessing. Just in 
case. Alright. Oh. Darn it. I'm back! He's back with cinnamon rolls. Oh, you got cinnamon rolls? Yeah. Sweet, can I have some? Sure. Thank you. I got the last treasure, by the way. It oh, was on a slope? Yeah, the green one. Oh, but not the statue piece. Not the statue piece. I'm just getting the slope. Is that the only thing left? Uh, yeah. We are, I guess, at the last one. Back to me. Oh, good. We did get all the treasure. Yeah. I, I saw the logo pop up. I like, th I like this Wario <laughs> statue. It's just the shoulder check. Yep. He can fucking loop him. So middle. Does he have that move in Smash? I guess it's kind of his dash attack, isn't it? It was the front. Was it? Yeah. Darn it. I'm sorry. That's okay. We got multiple bye-bye balloons. This, I would say, is the worst le level in the game. What would a Waluigi game even be about? Well, that, that's the question. He needs a personality first. And they refuse to give him one. Yeah, he's just Waluigi. I mean, his personality has become just, like, jealous of people who get their own games. So... So it would have to be called something else. Yeah? It would have to be a stealth Waluigi game. Mario stealth game? That hasn't been done before. <laughs> he, I, he, I was gonna say, you know what I mean, but that actually sounds kinda nice. Yeah? <laughs> Tactical wah action. Yeah. <laughs> I thought they said there was a second set of balloons at the start. I guess they just lied to me. They're like, hey! Try going back through the some of the yeah, so rolling around at the speed of where. If only we could have animated thumbnails. Wario did it before it was cool. If we if, if we had the option to have animated thumbnails, that would totally be it. It would. We can we can gif it like a hours of spiral frolicking. <laughs> Ten hours of Wario going down a mountain. Yeah. You just edit it so that every, every, every so often a word is replaced with wham. Like, I, if I were to really stretch with what Wall with what Nintendo has given Waluigi thus far. In We're fixing it. Fix it. Who are you talking to? The stream. Oh, are we on? Okay. Again? Yeah, we're we're on. I'm having some cinnamon rolls while he's fixing it. Okay. No, I'm sorry about that. Microphone does that crappy thing that happens. So we've now had two technical difficulties this stream. Two. Yes. In under forty minutes. <laughs> That's a record. Oh. Might have to do some post editing. We'll have to see how long that lasted. The nice thing about having chat is that they can let us know about this so that it's not two hours before we see that it's not recording. These entire streams that way. That happened a few times with Awesome Knots. Okay. So it's on the third slope. And I still don't remember if it's the front or the back. I think it's the front. It's gotta be the front. We're just stepping on those guys' dicks. Do I still have dicks? Um. We'll have to ask Mr. Snowmiser. <laughs> Outrun the fat men! <laughs> this should be easy. Is this whole game just like... What if this whole game was just analogous for Wario going on a diet or something? And it's just <laughs> giant ice cream men tempting him? Run. Now hit L. Once you hit the first one, hit L. Because it's underneath the... Hit the first what? Once you hit the first, like, jump on the slope, hit L. Oh! Oh, never mind. There it is. Well, we found it. 
Just gotta do it right. It's the <laughs> fifth time through the level. Love this level, yeah! Warrior, are you done skiing? I hear you guys loud and clear. You need some better equipment. Yeah? We use a, a blue snowball, which... It has good sound quality. Unfortunately, it just dies spontaneously every now and again. And it's not just one snowball. We've had multiple ones that act this way. And yeah. they're under warranty, but Blue doesn't give a shit. They, they just said, hey, it nope. works fine on our end. Have a nice day. And then they send it back. So we're going to need to find... Uh, eventually, we'll have to look for another uh, room for our phone. Yeah, the capture card. Capture card? Like, uh, no, no, oh, yeah, the Elgato fucks up as well. Although, I've heard other people say that the Elgatos are kind of pieces of crap, so. Yeah. The snowball, I think we're pretty much the only ones who have the problem with. And it might, in some on some part, be my computer. Your computer will run into 7. Yeah. Which, it might actually be a problem. Maybe. I mean, we've had other problems with it as well, in terms of just, like, the running power. It is no longer beefy enough to handle awesome knots, sad to say. Yeah. Not while streaming, at least. Well, hopefully... It, they don't even hurt. They just bounce off. <laughs> hey, come on. Rubber bullets. Hit Honest. me. Hit me. Ah ha. <laughs> You're weak, sauce. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what a pathetic, defenseless creature. I mean, they explode after a while. Yeah. Let's be fair. Alright, front. Front. Just for space, please. Last time. Ah! Just drop. Oh, I was gonna say, just oh. to time it so you could drop in the fucking, uh... Maybe that would work. I That'd be nice. I 100% crashed 3 yesterday for the first time. Kind of disappointed Crash didn't get a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> Man, don't, spoilers, I could have believed until the very end. No justice in the world. I, just today, got all the platinum relics in Crash 3. E every game is uh, is improved uh, with the with the option for a Hawaiian shirt. Yeah. That is why Max Payne 3 is my favorite Max Payne game. Yeah. I got all platinum relics in Crash 3 today, which is absurdly difficult, and is the first that was cool. That's good. That's uh, time trials. Oh gosh. You have to you have to like near perfect, frame perfect every level in the game. Be a speedrunner for Crash or near. For Spyro. It's not quite to no. It's Crash. Yeah, for Crash Three. They added uh, they added time trials to Crash One and Two in the new trilogy. Uh. So I'm interested to see that whenever I get that. Unfortunately, you don't get anything for all the platinum relics. It's just bragging rights. Yeah, it means that it, it, it's how you become uh, it's it's how you become able to access the uh, the speed community as you get all that, and then yeah. you're like you're ready. You're welcome. You are one of us. We trust you now. I feel like it would pr it might be an achievement in the insane trilogy. Got it! We got it! Oh, fuck this level. <laughs> you really don't like this level. I don't like doing the same shit over and over ten times, no. Let's well, see what kind of sadist is the boss here. Well, oh, he gets access to the only heat vents in this world. Oh, look, the Northern Lights. It is. I got... Oh, creepy oh. baby face dude, number two. This game loves those. You killed my little sister. Oh, he's the devil version. Oh, sure. But the other one was a creepy cherub. Oh, it takes a little time. Yeah. I, I gotta time it. Yep. I got oh. platinums on all the flying missions by pure luck. I wasn't even trying for them. Yeah, those are some of the easier ones. The water level sucked. 
as well just go for the other one. Has been mentioned in the past. Water levels tend to. Ow. Don't freeze me, bro. Oh. oh you got him. Come here. No! Damn it. Why has he got such a tiny body, or she? Can't see lava in the way. Lava pile driver! Ah, uh, he put his own body on the line! Oh, goddammit. So, I mentioned this, uh... So, don't look at his eyes. I'm sorry, I'm looking at his eyes. So, what happens if you, do you turn to stone? I don't know. I don't remember. Get out of here! We can't show what happened. It's like the, uh... The, uh, very blatantly cut punches in Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> when they don't show the actual punch, it just cuts to after it happened, and you Joey's like, Yeah, I got him! <laughs> he got- he- For all we know, he could have looked at him a bit mean. Don't know how anyone could get platinum on Area 51. The motorcycle level sucked. They always have. Get got! Come on! You're not going anywhere. Only four. Speaking of Joey Wheeler, we watched the, uh... The second Urusei Itsura movie. Oh yeah, he was, uh, he was, uh, Itaru. They changed the... <laughs> they didn't dub the series, but they dubbed the movie. And the second one is the only one to have a different... Oh, wait! Others. Ah! I wanted to see what would happen. Oh, what? Oh! It's fetishy stuff! Oh. Okay. Well, that oh, was creepy. Oh, God! Inflation! That was creepy, but not as bad as I was expecting. Oh, oh that's easy. Just... That and was good they, timing. They dubbed... There are six movies. One... All, all but two have the same cast, and then two has its own cast, in which the main character is voiced by Joey Wheeler. Yes, the who you might you might remember is the is Brooklyn Rage. Yes, and oh man, it was so weird because he wasn't. We didn't catch it at first, but then we heard a Joey Wheeler esque shout. You were the one who caught it. I was, I, I was I surprised it. it was him. And um, and you you didn't believe me. No, it actually sounded similar to the other Ataru at first, the Kenshin. <laughs> In one dub, he's voiced by by uh, Kenshin. Of Aroni Kenshin, and the other is voiced by Joey Wheeler. <laughs> and he's the only notable person in that dub. It was a great dub, I thought. No, but it was a very, it was a really weird, interesting movie. Yes. Of like this wacky sitcom kids comedy show movie, but by it turns out the director of Ghost in the Shell, <laughs> and it, it you can tell. Yeah. It's, it's so trippy. Yeah, In both the Ghost in the Shell movies, Ghost in the Shell and then Innocence, and if you have watched Innocence, you'll know what I'm talking about, that one scene. Uh, Oshi is the guy's name. Yeah. And he did this comedy series movie, and it's this, like, really <laughs> dark, weird, dreamlike thing. And they didn't use him for the, for no, the they rest just, of the movie. After that point, they decided, okay, this is too weird, maybe you're not a fit for this series. <laughs> and they didn't have him direct any of the other movies. Oh. Did you want to take a level? No, I was just, I was surprised. I didn't expect it to be not snowy. Oh, yeah. This is a weird world. It's just a random mishmash of ice and jungle. We found the lost world in the Hil Himalayans. Now we're dealing with anteaters. Oh, I need to ground pound that first. Wonderful. Is Inuyasha worth watching? I've only seen episodes on Toonami as a kid. Oh, yeah. I, I'd say so. Um, if you don't like romantic hijinks, you're in luck because there's not much of it there. Less than other Takahashi shows. Yeah, which... It is not as insufferable in that regard as Ranma. Certainly. Uh, if you if you, if you like power, uh, consistency, power consistencies, though, then um, yeah, you, it's, you might be disappointed because the powers are kind of arbitrary and not fully like, explained. There aren't really... It's 
it's a series that doesn't really have any fighting technique to it. It kind of subscribes to the Sailor Moon Power Rangers method of, I just have to land my big super attack. That's all the fight is. Yes. It's like the WWE of fighting style of, like, fight scenes. Yeah. Nothing matters but the finisher. Yeah. So... But, not, but there are funny stuff. The characters are really funny. And... Uh, it's got interesting arcs. Yeah. I still say it hits the peak at the uh, Seven Bandits arc. Uh, and then it kind of, kind of peters off at the at the end. Yeah, well, the, the it, arc after that uh, was very wacky. What? Which the oh, arc? Oh, the must. The, yeah, that was that, that was like a, a big filler arc. That's not a, a main arc though. I know, but it was an arc. It was a... the school mushroom dried up demons thing. Yeah. I still I still like that, but. Yeah, I know. Um, the next major arc involves a little evil baby we talked about. Yes. So we're, gonna, we're going into his arc. And that's the last one for... That's the other thing about Yasha. doesn't really have an ending. <laughs> I'm going to spoil this for you. It ends with, one day we'll get that, Naraku. And then <laughs> look at the sunset wistfully. And that's the end of the series. Yeah, before they released uh, the last act. They went, that was how the series ended. People complained about there not being an ending, so they went on to make final acts. Which adapts the final arc of the manga, but nothing between that and the end of the anime. Like, I thought they would pick up where the anime left off. No, they don't. <laughs> no, it's just suddenly we're at the final... Suddenly we're like three arcs ahead. You don't know any characters. They just assume you read the manga. Or, you know, it's uh, aka the... The Samurai Jack uh, method of storytelling. Where you just come in, like, years later, and Jack's an old man. Kind of. <laughs> no, well, 50 years have passed, but he doesn't age. But the episode count... What What did it jump to? Like... 90-something, yeah. I think. Which was a neat... Which was a nice touch, honestly. Yeah. But yeah, that's how I'll treat it when we get there, is... Uh, final act. Final act is... It, they could at least have, like, a synopsis, like, okay, this is what happened and this character showed up. No, they just jump right into the last arc with new characters you know nothing about. It's like you haven't, you haven't seen, like, it's like going these from, people are going on, like, a different path. Yeah. And you kind of split up for a while and you meet up again and suddenly they know all these new people. And you're just like, wait, who are these people? They always go, I'll explain later, except they never explain. You know what I would compare it to? It's like going from Dragon Ball to Dragon Ball GT. And not watching Z. <laughs> That's what. That's not, I don't think. I don't think it's that bad. It's you're, you're pretty bad. It is that bad. It's really bad. I. I, I have a. Darn! Now I feel like I have to uh, read the manga. I mean, we'll get to it. I never actually finished Final Act. I got to like twenty of the twenty-six episodes. And at uh, twenty, and then like episode twenty, you're like. I can't do this. I think I just... It, that was when it was airing on Adult Swim, and I just... Something changed in my schedule, and I wasn't able to keep watching that late. Or oh, something. So you don't know how it ends! I assume they get that darn Naraku. <laughs> <laughs> One day they'll get him. They told me they would. <laughs> it's one of those series with an overarching villain that is the villain for the whole series, and yeah. it doesn't really have, like, uh, Cell and Frieza and Arcs. No, it's just, it's all Naraku. All Naraku, all, all the time. All the way down is Naraku. Well, well where can they go from Naraku? Like, I don't know, they could totally come up with new villains to introduce if they wanted to. They came up with new ones for the movies. But, the se okay, the second one, it was just Naraku. Well, don't spoil it. No, Naraku died in the second movie, don't you Oh, remember? yeah, you're right, fuck. Yeah, the first one was just Naraku. No, the first one was some uh, moth demon dude. Oh, because Naraku wasn't a thing. He just kind of just was laying low for a while. He does that. Naraku's a very crafty villain. Yeah, he just he knows what he needs. He just lays low. He's very manipulative. I kind I find that kind of refreshing compared to a lot of the shoujo DBZ, a shonen DBZ super powerful outclass the heroes villains though. Like that's why I like Baby in Dragon Ball GT. He was actually less powerful than the heroes. And had to be sneaky and bide his time. Yeah. And then, and then, and then at his height, what did he do? He uh, implemented bad guy Earth. Yeah, he possessed the... Okay. Thanks. Asshole. 
Oh, I know what I have to do. Damn it. <laughs> you didn't think it'd be that easy, did you? I didn't think the trajectory would be like that. It is very long. Inuyasha. Yeah. You're in for a... You're in for a long sit if you want to watch every episode. Totally this time that. Yeah. Is there nothing else to... Okay, there are these guys. I would, I would say you could watch until Naraku gets introduced proper. Like the whole Onigumo story. And if you're not interested after that, then yeah, yeah that's it. There's Fair probably enough. not going to be interested in anything past that. Yeah, also, uh, give the characters some time to, uh, you know, just, uh, just get, like, comfortable. Because, uh, you think I think... They, you I think, think they had a weak start? I, I think the I think the characters start off as, like, assholes and... And they get better. You think so? Well, Inuyasha and Kagome. Everybody else is, is way... I, I don't necessarily think... I, I would say definitely say that about Urusei. Urusei had a terrible start. Yeah. Okay. okay, bye! That's where that was. Yeah! Urusei and Ranma both had really weak starts. And they kind of... The characters all got less asshole-ish as both series went on. Inuyasha, I thought, started more consistently. Just drop. <laughs> the day Wario gave up on life. Look at those nice painted mountains. Oh, yeah. I just... I, let, let's just say that, uh... Kagome uses, uh... The, a certain thing way more often than she needed to at the beginning of the series. And then just, she, she leads off that. Oh, the sit, boy. All that. Yeah, that. Yeah, I can see that. It's not as bad as other Takahashi series, though. Oh, yeah. Hey, you got it. Another thing. Even Meizo Koku, the three, like, roommates, I feel like were most asshole -ish during the very early parts of the series. <laughs> I mean, they yeah. never changed that much, but... They still party whenever they can. And then they got I, really offended when, uh... When she slapped Godai that one time. They were just guilting her. Oh. I think, despite being completely non-fantastical in any way, Meizo no Koku is Takachi's best written series. Oh, yeah. From a romantic standpoint. Oh, I have a I have a Wario edit for uh, Fire Pro. Oh yeah, Fire Pro Wrestling. Yeah. Need to get that. I'm waiting for it to go on sale. I know it's got a good character editor. Yeah, it's a good AI if you're familiar, familiar with pro wrestling. I wish we could do a uh, like WWE custom character stream, but I don't know what we have that those games could run on because they're like latest system or if yeah. the, are they on pc yeah they're on pc but yeah, you need a really good computer on it <laughs> very good they're, they're 2k sport uh, style games they nothing but the best the only villain i remember from inuyasha was tokajin his design scared the fuck out of me as a kid tokajin that was the guy who was the the beastly incarnation of naraku who sashomaru made his sword out of Oh, yeah. <laughs> he... <laughs> oh, yeah, then they, 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 the sword was called Tokijin. Yes. I think. Was that... I know That's the sword's name. I don't remember if... Uh, it... Or was Tokijin the guy who made the sword? Was he the smith? Uh... I think that was the case. Tokijin was the, like, swordsmith. The ugly bald dude with the fangs. Yeah, so what did they call the sword? He... I don't remember what the sword was called. The sword... The evil Naraku sword. Maybe this. I think the sword was Tokijin, and maybe Darian's thinking of the character, the Smith. I'm, I'm surprised the sword didn't try to betray Sashomaru. Well, yeah, no, Sashomaru is so is so badass that he controlled the sword. He like dispelled the curse. Oh man, it's so. <laughs> Back in the day, that was that was the 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 nerd rivalry was. Uh, 
Who's cooler, Sashomaru or Sephiroth? Uh... Well, Sephiroth can totally end a world. Yeah. Um, Shishomaru doesn't really seem to care about that. Which no. means that Shishomaru is cooler. Yeah, because he doesn't care. Because he doesn't care. And here's the thing. He doesn't act like he doesn't care. Because... Because uh, Sephiroth, he acts like he doesn't care. But he really cares deeply... Yeah. About, uh... By the way, those enemies are flying magnets. Yes, yes they are. Because he does care. He wants to end the world because he cares. Yeah. Um, but, uh... So he's got a cool theme song! The only thing he really cares about is uh, how much his brother sucks. And Which his, means he cares about a lot less. And his shoulder lolly. Yeah, the... He likes his shoulder green, lolly, Reen. Reen, the... The girl he rescued from, uh from death. Well, kind of. She'd already died. She little girl dies in Inuyasha. But it's okay. He has a sword that brings back the dead. Yeah, because it cuts away the, uh, the, de the, the, the death demons. Or... I feel like that's why Reen is always so happy. Like, she's died once. She, know she knows how bad things could be. Yeah. I'm not, I'm alive. I'm not gonna I'm take not... life granted ever again. Like, she couldn't speak before. Then oh, she yeah. started speaking because she was so happy. That's right, she was mute, wasn't she? Yeah. And you know what? She doesn't get, a, she doesn't get like, badly treated by Shishomaru either. No. He just kind of... Shishomaru is one of those characters like, uh, like Afro Samurai. Who is just, like, silent all the time. And he, he has other characters to be his voice. Yeah. Namely, Jokin. Jockin the Imp is his ninja ninja. Yeah. He doesn't really hate Jockin. He just... He doesn't tell him to go away or anything. Did Afro Samurai hate ninja ninja? You get that perception? Well, I mean... I... I don't think so. Uh-oh. Alright, dog time. Guy with the fangs. Yeah, so it was the swordsmith. I think Tokajin was the name of the sword. But the sword had possessed the guy, so they probably referred to him as Tokajin at that time. Yeah. Like, evil demon sword. Made from the, the most evil creature in existence, Naraku, and that's yeah, what he managed mean. to make, make it work. That's what's great about Naraku as far as anime villains go, is that he's so evil that he tries to create minions from his own body parts and they want him dead. Yes. God damn it! You 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 you, got, you missed. You just I know, hit B. I know. That's all you need to do is B. Does he climb up with B? No, no, to go down. I assume that's what you're trying to do. No, I'm trying to hit A. Uh, I'll just do this. Yeah. There you go. The chest is close by. And we talk about her. Ranma and Inuyasha are both. You need, you need to be patient. Ranma and Inuyasha are both pretty well known in the West. Inuyasha more so, but uh, the other two big-ish Takahashi series are more unknown. Ursae Itsura, which we talk about, is kind of prototype Ranma. Yeah, er, it's uh, it's more wacky. Hello. Nobody. Uh, no, we're good. Thank you. Is it pudding? Kool-Aid. Oh. Is that like the little girls? Yes. Oh. <laughs> just randomly, just walking around, hey, would you like some Kool-Aid? I'm like, no. The lemonade sales are getting aggressive. <laughs> it's not lemonade, it's Kool-Aid! Oh. Made from cool, not lemons. You don't, you, you don't drink it. Oh, come on, hit the eye. I think I was too mean back there. Oh, no, we're good. No. Oh. Thank you. No, good. Okay, good. Ursae and Maison, we've talked about a little bit. Come on, give me fruit. These fake durian chestnuts things. It's running. Okay, good. 
Hey, there's, uh, there's garlic pie over there. You get some garlic. Eh. Who needs it? You can stop this fucking sound from going. What's one death battle that you disagree with? Do you have any- <laughs> Do you have any, Jack? Jake, you tell yours first. Boover, Majin Boo versus Kirby? Uh, that's a... Well, that's they, a bunch of shit. But they... But judging by how... I think the thing with them is that they saw that Kirby could crack a planet in half. So can Boo. Yeah. The, the main thing that I have a problem with is they say, well, Boo's never had to deal with anything moving faster than the speed of light Yeah! Before. He did Dragon Ball Z! Except, yeah, in Dragon Ball Z, if we're considering everything canon like Death Battle does, then they passed the speed of light in the rat- back when they were fighting Raditz. Cause Piccolo sees Raditz dodge his, like, Kamehameha and he's like, He's faster than the speed of light! <laughs> oh, that, that's, uh, that's Ocean Dub, right? It is, yeah! <laughs> canon! I love Ocean Dub! They just made everybody ultra powerful, and I guess Death Battle doesn't are like, no, this this isn't canon. They fucking missed their notes, is what they did. <laughs> uh, what about what if we did a guard versus Toph? Eh. Yeah. I still I still feel like Gara has a distinct power advantage, but how much of that is just like how much more Naruto hypes its characters than Avatar does? It's hard to say. They said that often see sand is flying through the air. Yeah. <laughs> because it's of a Spanish DVD box. <laughs> no, wasn't it? Yeah. it was director commentary. It was like I thought oh, it was the back of a, of a DVD box. No, it wasn't. It was act. It was like a DVD menu. Like, yeah. Uh, it was option. And where it, where while watching you can see like facts about Avatar. Yeah. And one was Top could see sand as, even as it's flying towards her. Yeah. And you looked at that, and you're like, now they're just reaching! Yeah. I mean, there are plenty of other cases where they, uh, there's stuff they don't acknowledge or include. So they're picking what things to include. Yeah, they're... It's, uh... It, no matter how much they try to include everything, they're never going to include everything. Uh... What was, uh... What would be a... Did you have any that you particularly disagreed with? Uh... Maybe, okay. Uh... Random bomb. There's a button. There is. I need something to throw at it. You'll do. Ah! Whack! And then they just leave. <laughs> they just fly they just, off. Yeah, they flew off like fucking super goat. There. <laughs> oh man. Oh, uh, Delta wants a rematch of Master Chief versus Doom Slayer. Oh, did they do that? I guess I don't know. But Doom Slayer is really cool. I thought he was called the Doom Marine. He was called Doom Guy, Doom Marine, and then they gave him. Doom Slayer, because he killed a bunch of fucking demons. He's a demon slayer. Doom Slayer goes adventuring with the Slayers gang. <laughs> but we fight dragons and bandits and de other things. You fight <laughs> demons? Sometimes. These demons aren't ones you can kill, though. Wait till I get my hands on them. I got guns. What there's are a, guns? There's a, a, a Slayers like uh, that I actually just found out about. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's called Bastard. Uh, I feel two, like I've heard of it. With two exclamation points. I, I For the longest time I've heard it, I, I heard the name and I'm like, the fuck is that about? That sounds like a romantic comedy series. It, I don't know, Does but... Does anyone have a bastard sword in it? Uh... I don't know. What I do know, though, is that, um... Is that uh, it, it takes place in the land of, in the continent, or the country of Judas Priest. Okay. Is that where JoJo's come from? <laughs> you know, oh man, the timing has to be really precise on that. It is, this is a tricky one. Oh, 
Final one. God damn it. They did a rematch of Goku versus Superman. Yeah, and Goku it, won again. So or look, Superman won again. Yeah, because... Well, that's because Superman's power is to come up with powers. At least back in the, like, 60s, 70s it was. I have to wait till it's, like, at the zenith. You have to wait for it to go for a little You wanna bit. try? Yeah. yeah, sure. Up to- over to Jack. Oh, I'll just I'll just calculate the number of beans in this jar with super mathematics. <laughs> I Oh, let me just survive this with my super heat resistance. Oh, by the way, did I tell you that I have a super <laughs> saiyan slaying power? <laughs> I didn't know myself. Damn it. Are All you right. done? <laughs> I give up. <laughs> give up. Give up. Bold B to give up. Says Ultimate Chicken Horse. That ain't my style, Chicken Horse. No. We were asked, uh, we were asked on a previous stream what some of our favorite anime villains were. <laughs> and I was a little unprepared to answer at the time. But I feel, I feel like I have some more answers having given it more thought. Yes. Yu Yu Hakusho had terrific villains. That was... Oh the, yeah. Uh, all of them, but uh, the Taguro brothers were especially good. Yes, they were just brothers of destruction. The younger one being for more of a sympathetic villain reason. And the older one being more of an ear- The older one just being a straight up asshole the entire series that you yeah. just can't get rid of like a cockroach. <laughs> Cockroach He's one of those characters that you love to hate. Yeah. And and he gets like the worst fate of them all. He does he's not even allowed to die. I mean he gets arguably the same fate of his brother. Well yeah, I but guess. But the so. younger brother's by choice. I goes, accept goes, this. goes to limbo. And then Hey Up ahead is the giant. Spider Atticus. Spider Atticus. Don't get stuck in the sticky spots on its web. Okay. Others, other villains were Sensui, who was also, you know, pretty. Uh, you understood why I he understand did the where thing. you're coming from, guy. Yeah. Which is good in a villain if they're not just evil for the sake of evil. Oh, I like that. I like that from a more ironic standpoint. Yeah. Just like all Sailor Moon villains. You cannot withstand the might of death, Phantom! <laughs> <laughs> that Phantom was great, though! Yeah. He, he rocked it! He was... Here's the thing, I could totally buy him just being evil for just the sake of Because his being... name was fucking Death Phantom! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Can you mind that one of my favorite pro wrestlers is literally called Evil, and you'll understand where I'm coming from. Yeah. Just... <laughs> Death Phantom. And Frieza kind of has that aspect to him. Just the most evil motherfucker. Irredeemable. Yeah. He's more, he strikes me as more of just like a classical psychopath, though. Yeah. Like one of those serial killer types. Space he's, Trump. He's space... <laughs> Damn it! Is that too on the nose? No, he didn't... I don't think Trump sanctioned like multiple... He didn't blow up any countries yet. Yet. Hopefully never, like... He, he hasn't killed anyone... I didn't like that when fucking Bush started a war. He hasn't killed anyone working for him, he just fired them. And hired new people. Yeah, F Frieza doesn't fire people, he just kills them. Therefore, Frieza, Frieza's not as... Then again, if he wouldn't face legal backlash, do you think he would? Uh, do you think Trump would, would just carry a pistol around? He's got people to do that for him, Ow. though. Yeah. What are you doing? Just getting that. Oh. Did you just break those? I could. I didn't do it. Oh, you know, you need them to get up there, don't yes. you? Yes. God damn it. You're dead. Oh. I was low on hearts? What happened? What? You constantly got hit over and over! You didn't hear the alarm? The. Uh, no. Uh, uh. 
I, I find it very unnoticeable in this game. It needs to be like the Zelda one. Do -do 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 I was looking if Awesome Knots was cross-platform or not, and I came across a thread on Steam where someone asked the same question, and I see Zelra giving the first reply. Oh yeah, I was actually active on the Steam forums at that time. <laughs> I don't know if it is now, because the... Because Sony. Well, the PS3 versions... PS3 and 360 were not patched at the same time as the PC one. Oh, I yeah. think the PS4 and Xbox One ones might be. But not the Nintendo ones. I don't think it's on the Switch. Or did you get everything? Good enough. No. You're missing, you're missing a, a lot of shit. Yeah. Is there stuff over here? Where is it all? You, you need to look harder. I guess I do. I'm gonna get up on those there. flowers. Fuck off, goat. Leave. Goat! It's free to play on PC, though, and it runs on most... I mean, it even runs on my computer. I just not... I can't stream it at the same time. Yeah, right now. So it's not, not a very resource-intensive game. So blue, but blue chess is still in play. Yeah. Lots of chests are still in play. Most of the villains in uh, the Dragon Ball franchise had some kind of charm. Yeah, the... Y you know so, what? Nobody liked Boo. I I liked it. Just, I you like see Boo. this ultimate evil and it's just this big blob. And then it's revealed and people are like, Oh God, he's released! Well, one guy is like, like that. The rest are like, wait, this is Boo? And then he just kills everyone. What, be behind the pink blob mod? Behind the friendly pink blob? It is the friendly pink blob! Boo! You daft bastard. I think I might have seen the chest back there. Oh man, somebody does a re-edit of, uh, of the killer rabbit, like, uh, uh, Monty Python sketch. Yeah? And it's, uh, it's just, just boo. yeah, boo. Behind boo, or behind the pink funny blob monster, it is the blob monster. Like, uh, you had super irredeemable evil Frieza. Cell was cool because he just wanted to test his power. Yeah, Cell, so, so, uh, once he got perfect, he was much more chill. He was just a low-key Kenpachi. Yeah. I just want to test my new power. I mean, he was- he still was gonna kill everyone. Yeah. But... But he didn't want- I guess, what happens if, if he- if he gets what he wants and he beats Goku in, like, a- a fair fight? Does- That's the question. I- I think he just, he's threatened to, like, start going around the universe and just destroying planets out of boredom. I don't know if he planned to follow through with that. And then he just kind of chills out after that. I guess. He goes to hell and becomes b best buddies with Frieza. <laughs> that, that's what he did a lot of the time, is that he went to fucking hell and then, and then him and Frieza just chilled out together. I get it. <laughs> just... <laughs> you had Bad Guy Earth Baby. Super 17 was pretty bland. When I mentioned bad guy Earth, I mean Baby literally turned everybody into Earth into, like, villains. Every single one. They were all, they were all like, ha had a hatred for, like, Goku and shit. They did. They came home from their long space adventure and everyone wanted them dead. Yes. It was extra creepy. Yeah. And the only person, people who survived that were Boo and Hercule. Everybody wanted Hercule dead. It was crazy. Shadow Dragons were interesting in that they created a, like, a down a downside to using the Dragon Balls. But, as far as personality goes, Sin Shinron was very evil for the sake of it. Is that everything? Nope. That can't be. Missing four treasures and one statue piece. You're just gonna have to start... Oh, and one crystal. I missed a hatch somewhere. Oh, yeah. You missed a lot of shit. 
What anime character do you relate to the most? Oh, that's a good question. That's a tricky one. I'm almost tempted to say Megane. From Ursa Yatsura. <laughs> I, f I feel like I have, except, like... Except for the... For, for the wanting to make a Nazi cafe part. Oh, yeah, he did want to do that. For some reason... He was like just, I think he was just... we saw is just, like... In that second movie. Third Reich cafe, we're like... What? What the fuck? Magane! I think he's just really interested in history. Oh, I think I saw a statue piece. But, no, he just... He goes on these long long-winded rambling lectures about things and he's a like movie buff yeah. i don't know he's, it just comes to mind schindler's he watched schindler's, schindler's list oh i'm sure he enjoyed schindler's list inglorious bastards oh man you know that uh, japan had like a crazy death cult right did they yeah um shinrikyo oh they were uh they uh they did some pretty bad stuff yeah. And also, apparently, like, wrote manga and anime. Okay. And Is then, it, uh, Did they have, like, propaganda in that manga and uh, anime? Yeah, it was, uh, it was propaganda, and, and, including which was, uh, was somebody, I guess, who was, uh, like, the, the leader of the Umson Riku himself, just approaching a dude, and the dude's like, KILL ME! And the guy's like, sorry, you're not enough like me yet. Yeah? I'm quote quoting this, uh, from the side. I, I didn't read any, uh, Death Cult, uh, manga, but... Was that the name of the manga? I don't know what it was called. I don't... I, it, for all I know, it could, it, it could not exist. I, I... But I was listening the about just that. just wants you to think it exists. They, like... They, like, built actual working lasers and shit. Okay. And, like... This was in the 90s! Yeah? Oh, man. It was... It, they recruited, like, a bunch of scientists and shit instead of, like, you know... Didn't hit that button. You did. That that threw you off. Anyway, America has Jonestown. Uh, Japan has Rikio. Do you have any anime characters that come to mind? Uh, for who I relate to a lot. Yeah. Uh, Saitama. I'm not cool. I'm not strong enough, nor am I skilled enough to be a Saitama. Yeah. He's just trying to make ends meet. He, yeah. Oh man. I uh. Well, the thing that that uh, causes me to go, oh man, the struggle is real. Yeah. Is uh, the one character from uh from Excel Saga. The guy who was uh, I'll I've become a civil servant. Yeah, at the very beginning, that I I relate to him more now because. He's is just is just some harsh it's some harsh shit. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I just, feel like I'm more Sumiyoshi. Just <laughs> the fat, quiet guy who just always just talks in text. Oh yeah. And then and then oh, there's a secret. Oh no, that's not a secret area. I was hoping. I have. I think I have an idea as where a thing might be. We got one, we're still missing three treasures. And, uh, you know what's scary is that uh, Welcome to the NHK feels a lot like my life. Yeah. Except I actually have a job that I go to. I don't, I don't remember, does the main character have a job? I don't think so. He just kind of does his own thing. I don't know where he gets any money from. You know what? At least, at least you don't like play a single track all, all day every day. Yeah. Making me think that you, that you just died listening to it. What's up with that dude playing the same track all over, all he the time? He just really loved that anime girl. He loved his waifu's theme song. God. I thought he was dead. Yeah. Like I'm like, okay, he's gonna open up the door. And he's just gonna be dead. But no! He's not! <laughs> He's just rude! 
Well, at least he's no Wario. I'm pretty sure he was living next door to Wario. He'd think a, he'd think a, a biological outbreak was going on. The worst neighbor. <laughs> hey, I heard Wario's castle's gone. Excellent! Pop the champagne! Well, we're gonna get a new neighbor. It's probably gonna be a really dead one. Yeah. Oh, down there? I thought we went down there. No, I guess not. Oh. Okay. Literally, you know. I see those stomping blocks and they go down to an area that you can't get back up from. That's only in the previous level, though. No, it was in other. It was in the circus level as well. You remember? Oh yeah, that. Everywhere else in the game, it's that. But here, it's just this little area that you can get back up from. Just jump up and hit it. Could have just. Oh. Nah. <laughs> you. <laughs> I can do you did the I one want. thing, then you did the other thing. Yeah. Oh, this one. I have a, uh, I have an Annie list profile <laughs> that has my favorite, like, uh, anime and characters on it. Yeah. If you're ever and curious. And your least favorite. Girl, I don't remember if I kept them or not. Oh. Where the fuck am I going? Probably where the arrows are pointing, huh? <laughs> Who is your least favorite uh, girl in anime? Nina Einstein. Yeah, why is she your least favorite girl? She's a bitch! <laughs> and, well, xenophobic. Yeah, she's uh, quite racist. Uh, just... In a way that they, like, people That's try to make like... sympathetic because it's xenophobia. Oh, she doesn't know better. She's just afraid. No, she... Which, is that... it is a proper phobia for her. She's just terrified of other races, but it's still kind of disgusting. <laughs> yeah. It's the worst uh, it, uh, person to be attributed to the name Einstein. Like... Jeremy rocked it better. <laughs> Jeremy Belpois. Belpois. He's got a, got a picture of Einstein in his room and none of the fucking racism that we saw... I, I... Also not a fan of uh, the doctor chick, doctor lady from uh, Roni Kenshin. Oh, the she's kind the of opium a chick. She's kind of a hard ass sometimes. <laughs> you got. So your only standards are uh, racism and kind of a hard ass, or just general bitchiness. Kukaku Shiba, number three. Oh, in Bleach, because she's mean. Yeah. That just beats the tar out of people for the smallest things. That's Sudere, though. Yeah? Is that what that is? <laughs> I guess. I like Akane more than I like her. That's, That's okay, saying something. I don't get that. Like, like Akane is kind of... At, le at least Akane has some reasonable moments. Kukaku doesn't. <laughs> okay, uh, on one hand, you are correct on that... Oh, one more treasure. On one hand, that does make sense, but... I'm gonna say, on the other hand, I, I have to disagree because, uh, remember that, uh, Rukia, like, killed her fucking brother, right? Yeah. And then, and he, she went expecting, like, an earful, and then Kukaku was like, was like, nah, I understand, it's okay. She said it in a very kind of bitchy way. Like, shit. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Stop apologizing. I don't want to hear it. But it made it seem like she understood everything. Yeah. I, at least that's what I thought. Oh, like, no. you know, like, they talk about it, they kind of have a problem with each other for the rest of the series. Yeah. I don't recall them really seeing that much of each other the rest of the series either. <laughs> you think they, they low-key just are, are, like, in a... There's in a non-speaking relationship. Not aggression pact. I don't hold it against you, but we're still not, you know, friends or anything. We're not gonna... The scars run too deep. Oh, man. <laughs> like, even that feels like a technicality. A technicality? Like, oh, she was technically nice. <laughs> I... <laughs> Like, it kind of smiles and is nice to at least some people now and again. Dr. Tofu! 
Sure. Everyone loves Dr. Tofu. <laughs> I... God damn it. I just... I, I mean, I... Keep in mind I, you've I, only I, watched like 16 episodes of Ranma. Yeah. If that. I don't like Ranma enough to watch it like regularly. And like Urase, it starts off at its worst and gets at least a little bit better. That, those are some really low fucking lows. Yeah? The scars run too deep. I like I like that line. Just Why do we hate each why can't you just apologize? The scars run too deep. That's the reason I hate Sakura and Kushina from Naruto. Sakura is way better! I don't, like, I don't know if he's talking about maybe Shippuden Sakura, if she has a lot of angry moments, but... I mean, there, there are much angrier characters than Sakura. She Sakura is at, at her worst in the very early parts of the Naruto, though. Same with pretty much all the characters, actually. Yeah. Except for Sasuke. He, he doesn't really recover until... Like later on in uh, Shippuden, he's more of a he's more of a bully in early Naruto, and then he just turns it. He migrates into angsty. And then they're like, "Wait a minute, we're supposed to be friends." We are. I like how they act. How everyone has these like super close relationships they give their lives for in Naruto, but they never show it on camera. Yeah. We never see them hanging out or enjoying each other's company or anything like that. Just nothing. No, they're totally friends. Believe us. We have the inside scoop. Believe. He was watching him like a simple be mean. Meanwhile, Wario was just kind of scratching his ass. <laughs> Getting characters for no real reason. That's a that's a Japanese trope with a lot of characters, though. It's uh it's, happens a lot in in like One Piece, and we don't really yeah. hold it against anybody. Tommy and such. Sakura is an average offender. There, there are worse. Yeah, you know I don't what? know who Kushina is. Just, despite, despite her uh, bitchiness in, uh, in, the, in like the series, she just cheers on Naruto. Even when he's farting on Kiba. Yeah, it's just whatever works, Naruto. And she does like. People are like really mean, like. I will admit that, uh, that the one scene in which, uh, she's begging for Sasuke to, like, stay, and then she's, like, being all, like, No, Sasuke! i do anything for you! That was kind of bad, but... Sasuke has never once shown any sign of affection for her. And... No, I love I just, you deeper than the deepest abyss! But that's... That, but you know what? I just... That's a kind of a, a, a recurring thing in the series. Yeah. Like, so I'm not gonna fault that as like as like just her character. I'm just gonna say that uh, that maybe there were signs of affection, but they didn't like show it because like all other other signs of any positive uh, relationships in the series. It's... Oh, they're there. Just believe us. Yeah, just trust us. It's like maybe Hunter Hunter is so much better in that regard because Conan and Kaloa actually enjoy each other's company. Yeah, this is why. What... <laughs> That's what friends look like. This is, yeah. Despite them being complete opposites, they're, they're, they're just like, yeah, we'll hang out. <laughs> hey, Gon, you want to do X? Yeah, that sounds great. Hey, let's go. Let's go track the spiders down. Yeah, that sounds good. Go get some bounties. <laughs> and then when they had like a my friend back retrieval arc it actually was kind of <laughs> well for one they actually got him back yeah first off they got him back a lot of arcs just end in straight up failure in naruto yeah i will i will say that like that you are correct uh there, there are a lot of things that just end with people failing which you know is like, supposed to mark like no, uh, this is realistic. Not every not every victory is gonna be won, and it's like, they, no, you. Know, I know that not every victory can be won, but it's like no victories are won. Yeah. Every nothing good happens to anybody in that. Not really. Orochimaru failed to get the village and lost his arms. The Hokage died. There's no one came out positive. 
Yeah. But war is hell. War. That's how, that's the uselessness of war, bro. What was the worst arc of DBZ, One Piece, Bleach, and Naruto in your opinion? Uh, okay, we're just Z or just all of Dragon Ball? Do you have a least favorite Dragon Ball arc? Uh, I, th I think early Dragon Ball was in general less bombastic, so maybe we shouldn't include that. Yeah. Pilaf was kind of underwhelming compared to the likes of Namek. Oh, yeah. To the point where when they brought him back for Super, he was just... so Such a non-threat that Bulma will keep him around the house. Yeah. Well, he's a kid now. Again, I guess. Him and Mai. That looks like a Pokemon. It's a fire fighting type. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is this a we punched. <laughs> okay. Come good. here. Come here. So what's up with this guy? He's just really He's super swole. Oh, and he fires fire. Come on. Come to the edge. That's how you damage him? Uh, I gotta get him to the edge of the thing. He does like a charge tag at some point. He did. Go get him. Uh, as far as Z goes, I would say the Saiyan Saga. There's a lot of waiting for Goku. That's when it's at its worst. Yeah, the, the Saiyan Saga. The, the infamous, uh, the most infamous waiting for Goku part. No, actually, Namek. I actually Namek, uh, well, Namek. they weren't waiting for Goku. They just thought they, they did were it twice in one fucking arc. Okay, they did it for Frieza, but the first time they weren't waiting for him. He just showed up when they thought they were fucked. <laughs> yeah, I guess, I guess you're right about that. It was pretty bad when he was in the chamber, and they were like, "Oh no, we gotta wait till Kakarot's awake." That was a pretty bad waiting for Goku period. Just waiting for Goku. No one else can do anything. They want to see. Successfully cut <laughs> with that destructo disc. <laughs> the priest is like, what? Impossible. And then wow. they kill him. No, I'm there. surprised that worked too. I think it's Vegeta. Yeah. Well, that's who Goku fight. Big match. We're working on it! Type it in. Okay, we're good. <sighs> Sorry about that. No, I was saying that it's not really an arc thing, but one thing that annoys me about Dragon Ball Z is how the tournament arcs get interrupted. Like, the Boo one got, or the one that started off the Boo saga got interrupted and never really finished. I think... Yeah, the one at the end of Z with Oob also got interrupted because Goku just decided to fly off with him. <laughs> I think well, it happened. What about in... the rest of the tournament, guys? I think it happened with the GT as well. Like, I miss Dragon Ball when a tournament arc was just a nice, good, good old tournament arc. You know what Super had? An uninterrupted tournament arc. Yeah. And that is why Dragon Ball Super is the best one since original Dragon Ball. Yeah? No, I don't know. Oh, is the next one the uh, Egyptian tomb? I think so. I think next world is Egypt land. Uh, I don't really have... Oh, One Piece. 
Uh, uh, I'm trying to think. flashback arc. Oh yeah, that was kind of underwhelming. It was lasted too long for my tastes. Yeah, uh, like the end of the the Marine Ford War. What were the filler two. arcs in One Piece? There was Navarone. Uh, that was Navarone great. Navarone was great. Uh, with Commander Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> his, his, they wouldn't take down his fortress, but they took down in his lobby. Uh, Alabaster wasn't terrible. It got a, it got a little old for me just because I don't like deserts. It's very boring seeing the same scene so much, but yeah, not the worst. And then, uh, <clears throat> Skypea was good. Oh, Water, Water Seven was Long great. Ring, Long Land. Uh, nah, I thought that was okay. I, I liked Silver Fox Foxy. It's not a horse. Fee, 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 fee. It's not a horse. It's a horse. It was dumb, but that's One Piece. Oh, nope. failed. Yeah. Go back. I don't remember really disliking any in Bleach. God damn it, that was just a miss. I like the Balan arc. Uh, I think my least favorite was the Amagai arc. And even so, that was, t that was t tolerable. Not yeah, counting yeah. the really short, like, Karakurizer and those, <laughs> those little things. This one? Yeah. There you go. Good job. Actually, the cannon arcs got kind of samey in a lot of places. It, the, the filler is bad when your filler arcs are better than your actual arcs. The, uh... The outside in Hueco Mundo period. Oh, I, I remember my least favorite arc in Bleach. The Forest of Menos. Oh, that, that one? Yeah. <laughs> that was very bland. Yeah, that was, uh... There's this thing, we're nobody lost. Nobody in... hollow enemies. Bunch of the, Menos the, Grande moves. The moots. one, like, Soul Reaper that was trapped there. And yeah. they don't talk about him ever again. Nope. Recurring motif is this game has. So. This is the mirror mansion. You have is to, it? You advance using only your reflection in the mirrors. Skill shot. Well, fuck, now what? You fall, that's what. Naruto. Dude. Uh... I, it's been so long since I've watched through Naruto, I can't remember all the filler arcs. So many of them were just one episode things later uh, on. Yeah, uh, the, uh, I don't know. The last one with the Adate race was kind of eh. If we're talking about movies, I don't like the, the first movie. We've only seen the first movie. <laughs> you know, with the, the only, the character who's even angstier than Sasuke. <laughs> Act this so, bitch. Yeah, Sasuke is like, is like, man lady, you gotta tone it down. Life is meaningless. Nothing but suffering. <laughs> like, Sasuke's like, man, even I have meaning in my life. Sasuke had, like, no lines in that movie. There was someone else to angst for him. Yeah. This is a kind of weird. A bit. It's a nice, uh, aesthetic, I guess. Oh, it's all dark. Oh, fuck me. Land of Waves was also kind of boring, but I mean, it was trying to it was trying to set a lot of like tones for the series. Yeah. Best arc was obviously the tuning exams. Uh oh. Why? Because <laughs> it's it the tournament the arc. Yeah. But it was interrupted though. More anime needs tournament arcs. Maybe I mean, people the, don't like tournament arcs, though. The outdoors tournament was interrupted. The yeah. indoors one went through, and that was that was yeah. great. That was the best part of it. Because <laughs> if there's one thing Naruto knows what how to do, it's it, it's clever fight scenes. It's about the only thing it has going. For yeah. It. I wish Bleach had a tournament arc. The games did on the DS. What would they be for? I don't know. Just you know, uh, keep keep up your military skills. <laughs> Tournament? That's what it was in the game. Each. 
Yeah. There was a there were there were divisions. There was a two v two division, in which <laughs> Kenpachi decided to to take on teams of two single handedly. Yeah, because that's a very Kenpachi thing to do. And then there were exhibition matches in which Yamamoto fought people three on one. Because <laughs> Yamamoto's the best. <laughs> Fuck, that was that could have been very bad. Like, the Land of Waves arc in Naruto, the Zabuza arc, was mostly there to say, like, Oh, you think this is a, a, a kitty shonen series? Being a ninja is serious. We're creating, like, tools for war and, and killers. And you're not allowed to have emotions. And you have to step over your allies and shit like that. Hey, welcome to Edgy. Then the next arc, they came back and they're having a fighting tournament. That was cool. Yeah. Like, oh, hey, show your skills to spike. But you know, they're ninjas, they're not really supposed to have, like, fighting- I think it's supposed to be, like, sneaky? Yeah, it's not about direct fights. It's not supposed to be, but... No. This is a shonen series. It's all, all about direct fights. It's all about- Being a ninja is about being the best fighter. It's just that your, uh, your, uh, your fighting ability has to be, uh, about, um, you know... Stealth. Yeah. Can't go in there and, like, too fast. And like tricking people into attacking. That that's that's what uh that's what being a ninja is all about. Kicking people is kicking people's asses stylishly. Darn. Again, coins don't even count to your final score. They're, yeah, they're useless for anything in the game over. Well, it's good to have like a lot of coins though. Is it? Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> Ow. Ow. They're they're mice. Did, did they're it really friendly. take you back all the way Oh no, you you just missed miss because you flung yourself. That's okay. There's nothing over there. Just that dude. Oh, something's nearby. Yeah. This is a vertical segment. Move it! Whee! Palace of Lions. Wait, hold up. Terrible portraits will extend their hands and try to attack you. Damn, that was pretty good. Yeah! Oh, skull birds. <laughs> More wall mini bosses. I'm gonna throw this at you. Oh, you can't catch it. I'm gonna throw this at you. Come here, barrel fella. I need you. What's it with these master handle likes? But they're creepy ghosts. No, you broke my hand. You'll pay for that. Give me more! Give me a dude! Come on! I think you have to like hit a hit at him. Yeah, there you go. I think that was a coincidence. Here. Tri oh, Just two hits? Wow, you suck. You gotta hit one hand each. You know what was part of why Yu Hawk Show was so great? What? Uninterrupted tournament arcs. Yeah, they have they, they have had the three Genkai tournament tournament. arcs. And they all went to a completion. And they were all relevant to the story. Yes. There's the Genkai tournament arc. There was then the there dark was the dark tournament. The dark tournament is the greatest tournament arc. Then there was the Demon World tournament. Which was, uh, on our end, was cut short, but it went to a completion yeah. uh, in the in universe. Yusuke just didn't see all of it. He yes. didn't see Satan win. <laughs> it's okay, though. He's a nice guy, Satan. Yeah, he's like... Yeah, we'll do another one in a few years, I feel like. In the meantime, human pe demons should stop eating humans. <laughs> and then the demons cheered for that for some reason. Because I guess... I got what I came for. Is, are you sure? Was there something else? Uh, probably. Yeah. What a structure. So I'm going to guess that uh, those other rooms with the bandage on them, they're supposed to be like this, except the magic was broken, and now they're just dusty and out of order. Yeah. Meanwhile, in, the, in these rooms with the locked door, 
they actually work. So that's why they're, they're like this. Yeah? You know what never made sense to me? The nobodies in Kingdom Hearts. Oh. Xemnas said that nobodies lack emotions because they have no heart, but every nobody seems to have a personality. There are uh, a you see, okay, here, uh, here's our theory about that. I think... Our? Uh, my theory about that. Yeah? Is that, is that they're all a bunch of racists and nobodies are just like... Are actually people, but but everybody thinks they're villains. Yeah. Because you're not alone in that in that Darian. There are a lot of things about Kingdom Hearts that a lot of people don't think make sense. Kingdom Hearts is a is an art art design story rather than like a logic based story. Is there something? Can you think of anything more convoluted as a franchise than Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> are there worse out there? Uh... Worse offenders. Um, it's a good question. I'm thinking about it. I. Hmm. Like mainline game, not like extended universe stuff. Uh, sure. I mean, you can include extended universe stuff. That's not. Universe. I don't think that'd be fair, though. Are you talking about Kingdom Hearts or just other things? Other things besides Kingdom Hearts. That have extended universes? Well, yeah, but I'm trying what to... What did you have in mind? Hmm. Convoluted. Uh, Mortal Kombat gets really weird. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. That's, that, that, that has like nine, that has like 11 games over uh, Kingdom Hearts though. Yeah. Well, okay, no. And well, different character endings as well. Yeah. Oh, speaking of weird, I'm not, 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 it's not the same as Convoluted, but, uh, Twisted Metal. Oh, yeah. That, had, especially the, the live action ones in the first <laughs> game, those got weird. Mr. Ash, you have won the contest. Welcome to my home. Greetings, Calypso. <laughs> now I will see what you did wish for. I am the winner, you are my prize, and then Clipso just goes, No! It's not my time! <laughs> and then Mr. Ash takes him away. No! That was a pretty good ending, I like yeah. that. The Calypso gets fucked ending. <laughs> then there was the one in which, uh... In which, like, the two, like, teens didn't wish for anything. They're like, you do know that you can wish for whatever you want, right? And they're like... Well, sir, we actually do have a request. He's like, what is it? And he goes, we want babes! And he goes, done! And then all the women that are, like, around him just flock to them. And then they're like, thank you, Calypso! It's so very... it's a happy ending? Well, yeah, for them, I guess. Not for the babes? Well, I mean... But in the actual, like, cutscene, cut like, uh, that they went with... They are just like, uh, tires are expensive. You think you can replace them? And he's like, yeah, sure. Yeah. Think about Calypso in uh, in in the first game, is that he wasn't he wasn't a hundred percent a dick. No. He was only he tried to like fuck over. He was a totally monk's tank kind of villain in the later games, but in one he just sure gave them what they wanted. Yeah, you want it? Sure. The Zelda timeline. Yeah, I can see it. Talking about okay, yeah, yeah, that, that that wins out because they weren't actually trying to go for anything with at first with the Zelda timeline. Then they had to try to piece it together afterwards. Whereas Kingdom Hearts has a plan, I think. I feel like that makes it worse though that they, <laughs> that they are trying. Was, you know what I was thinking? Like actually, when I say it, I say it like that, it makes it sound worse. Like at least Zelda has an excuse. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we had to we had to kill the story uh, with the story. I saw. I don't remember. I think it was a VG Cats. Of uh. Okay, we we got the crack new team for Kingdom Hearts three. As you know, Kingdom Hearts is is a series that's popular because of its deep and enthralling storyline. And just in case you've missed it, here's a little catch up, and then it's just a, a bombardment of melts their faces off. Oh, uh, like, uh, Ark of the Covenant style? Sure. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, a lot happens in the Kingdom Hearts games. That doesn't make sense even when you're watching the cutscenes. <laughs> we talk about made sense to me. Yeah. What do you have a problem with? A lot of the nobody stuff. No, it, it makes sense. Basically, uh... Basically, Why don't we wait until we play Kingdom Hearts, and then I'll tell you what doesn't make sense, and you can try to explain it to me. <laughs> I love trying to explain bullshit. Yeah, I'll do it. Uh, I'm th there's something else I seem to recall that was incredibly convolu- uh, this, this might be an unpopular one. Undertale. Incredibly okay, neat- Okay, that's all the fan- that's all fan stuff, though. No, that makes no, 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 no. It's not. <laughs> the base game storyline makes no sense, does a terrible job explaining itself, all the flowey and the brother shit, and Chara, whatever the hell's going on. It does a terrible job explaining itself, just in general. You're right, that is gonna be an unpop- that is a- that is a scorching hot take there. Yeah. Eh. I can take a, some pain. But- uh. <laughs> And also, there are going to be people uh, disagreeing with you and gonna, they're going to start debating with you about it. So oh, that's okay. okay. It's okay. Every comment on our video helps draw new viewers to our video. Argue away! <laughs> that's a very mercenary way to think of it. It's pragmatic! <laughs> no, 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 fine! Look, I landed! <laughs> I want to get over there. These platforms move weird. <laughs> yeah. Nintendo recently placed Breath of Wild on the timeline. Takes place at the very end. Which end? The the, the I, I think when they mean end, they mean like the the farthest end. Okay. Or are you talking about uh, uh, which time? Hero line? victory timeline or hero defeat timeline? Versus child era whatever the hell timeline there are three according to nintendo according to the timeline uh I see fans are now complaining that zelda has at least three timelines so which one does breath of the wild take place in nintendo just said fuck it and says it's the end in all timelines all timelines oh, so all roads co converge on breath of the wild sure the fuck does that mean i guess that's the only way to explain both Zora and uh, Rito in that game. Oh, are there? I guess that's the explanation. Well, because so at some point the timelines merge. I want to. I want to play that game. By the, the game where Link, where Link merges the timelines. You think it was the doing of the Goddess of Time? Oh, we're man. her favorite. In Majora, she likes us. Oh man. So in that one, it's it's, it's a it's a multiplayer game. Or like a multi-link game in which uh, Adult Link, Young Link, and Toon Link all team up and uh, like... Sure, that'd be great. <laughs> no, that's called Smash Brothers. <laughs> Smash Ultimate. All the time. <laughs> all the time fights. <laughs> that's crazy. Because the Rito and Wind Waker lore-wise have evolved from the Zora, weirdly enough. You know, fish evolving into birds. <laughs> and, you, and you say Undertale's convoluted. Again, weird and convoluted aren't the same thing, but... Yeah, the Zelda timeline is pretty... Uh, both. I think I think the the thing that, uh, that Undertale's trying to go for isn't, like, a thing that takes place in our reality, but rather it's, uh... Ra rather than being a thing that takes place in, in reality, it just is a game world in which uh, some people became self-aware. That sounds like A, a fan theory, and B, an excuse. An excuse? For shitty explanation what if, what of a story. If, what if it is what it is? Well, then they did an even shittier job explaining it. <laughs> you know, some people like ambiguity. Yeah. I guess you're not the, that type. There's a difference between ambiguity and trying to explain something and failing. You know what? They... Yeah? <laughs> Did you at least like the characters in Undertale? They're okay. okay. <laughs> That's what people like is the characters. Yeah, they don't like... 
Yeah, that's what they liked in Naruto, too. Yeah? And the fight scenes. So they're willing to put up with all the other many flaws of both of those things. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, well, yeah. I was about to say, when are you gonna recognize... It's fine, you can just buy more health care. Yes, Wario can afford that. He's one of the 1%. One... The... Oh, they're all invisible. Yep. Just a bunch of phantom fellas. I'm just gonna rob you and leave. Oh, I need one of you. The ritual you used just shouted to Undertale. You didn't say any of this shit when we were playing it. Didn't I? Well, no! Most of it, most of the attempted story explanation is in the pacifist run. Yeah. And we did, our, our stream was genocide. Uh, Wait, I'm back up here? Wasn't I already here? No? Okay. Oh, I should have got garlic. Oh, well. I need stuff. Come here. Vitriol for fucking Undertale. I didn't expect this. I mean, I liked the game well enough. <laughs> he just... Oh, it's... It's one of those things you play for the gameplay and the, and the characters, not the story. Yeah. Who's your favorite Undertale character? Uh... <laughs> I you guess Sans. Want... He's okay. Not, not, un, not Undine? Nah. Why not? I don't know. I feel like there are better ex ex examples of that kind of character. Like Kenpachi. <laughs> Female fish Kenpachi, man. I, I like that. The final boss of this game should have been Garlic Jr. <laughs> well, because Wario's nigh immortal? It, it'd be- it lasts forever! Oh, I get it, because Garlic. Took me a second. You know what? I didn't think of that, though. The Garlic Jr filler arc of Dragon Ball Z was kind of eh as well. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, but you know what? It was one of the only filler arcs in which Goku didn't solve the problem. Yeah, it was. It was that. Someone else got to beat it, and that's only, beat the bad guy, and that's only because it was non-canon. Yes. And the, our hero who defeated the bad guy was, of course, Garlic Jr. <laughs> Garlic Jr. I'll open the dead zone again! This is a good idea! <laughs> Okay, I'm seeing a couple flaws here. Why did the bad guy, who could literally not die, open the way to his only defeat? <laughs> yeah, I kind of rolled myself into a corner. The immortality thing. It... <laughs> oh, you're not supposed to do that on that one. They trick you. <laughs> And the only villain in the series that actually managed to become immortal. Yep. Yeah. He got what he wanted. Baby got what he wanted. For a time. For he, he, he got was... what he wanted and he died for it. Yeah. Baby was, I would argue, the most successful villain in the series. Yeah. And because Earth died. Yeah. I mean, he had it all. He had all the humans and everything. Yeah. He just failed to get, like, the last three, and that fucked him. <laughs> Man, Vegeta got, like, fucked up. Oh, because of Baby? Yeah. What happened? Also, you, I think Baby, like, possessed Vegeta? Yeah, he did. I don't think Vegeta was, like, seriously negatively... had any real consequences from that, though. He was still there in the... He wasn't fighting in the Super 17 arc, but he was... There. Fucking walking around. He wasn't bedridden or anything. I'm just saying that that, that, that must have sucked for him. Yeah. Like, he must have been really sore after that. Oh, I did... What am I supposed to do? Just at, like, the very tip end of it? No, you have to do it when it's, like, uh, in the very beginning. Yeah? I feel like. Oh, this is a tricky one. And hold back the whole can't, time. Can't you just, uh, hip, hip drop? Oh, I can, can't I? Yeah. Yeah, just hip drop 
when you're flying from there. I like this better than the Chuckyas. <laughs> I'm a Chuckya. Please don't. There you go. Wrong way. Hey, hey, that's all of it. That's good, because this is the end of the level. Hey, we should look at the treasure for the last, uh... Oh, yeah, we will. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I should have brought something no, with punch me. Punch his face. Punch out his face. Oh. It'll oh. just happen. Damn it. I thought... Five point four magnitude. They're not dropping any of the electric ones. Oh, there they go. Ow! They sink it. I can pay for the damage. No, you can take more, huh? He's tougher. I am the room. Give me shit to throw at you. Like a good mini boss. Six magnitude and he's gone. I don't think the magnitude affects anything. It's just there to say, hey, look how cool you were. That's a dick block. That could have fucked me. What's this here for? Just to be a dick? Yeah. <laughs> Is you you get the one half heart and then the block comes down and kills you. Just pops in out of nowhere. Oh, it's all the way on the other side. Yep, it is. So we gotta get back up there. Oh, what the fuck? It's Jason Voorhees. Yep. Oh. Is that the... Oh. There was one more back there that we hadn't gotten. Yeah. Is a coward! Even if you bang in the cup, he's hiding and he won't come out. He's definitely in there, though. I'd say Nintendo's most repeated boss type is the two giant floating hands. Yep. Yeah. They do it a lot. Uh, There's in Mario Tennis Aces, they had another one. The, uh, Star Fox. They With, like, that. Andros, or is that a different boss? Andros, and then Andros's kid. Andros had a kid? Well, he had, he, was, he had a nephew. Oh. Uncle Andros! So, uh, Andros had, like, weird psychic powers which allowed him to do that and transform into that. His okay. kid didn't, didn't, but he had, uh, he had, like, mech abilities. Yeah? Can I jump on this? Come on, Abs. You can do it. Oh man, this is the most cutouts, the most technical difficulties we had in a long this time. This is the moody. This is the moodiest our microphone has been in quite a while. Yeah, I don't know how long ago that cut out. I'm sorry again. We've been going just over two hours. I think we can squeeze in the last level. Yeah. At the last level, the last boss fight, and then the final boss fight. Yep. Alright. Oh, this place. I guess, uh, check every, every time you get hit it, it, what, what the mic level's at. Yeah. I'm gonna have to. This one is the last level, right? Yes, it is. And it's also a pretty big one. Never had Egypt be, like, the final level of a game before. It's usually, like, the midpoint. Yeah. That, uh, and, uh, Tomb Raider Last Revelation doesn't count. That was all Egypt. Now, if there's a JoJo game, then it's totally gonna end in Egypt. <laughs> Oh, 
So what is that thing supposed to be? You got him! I don't know, just evil jewel boss thing. It's one of the close minions of the evil jewel. It close, we killed them all. Does it have anything else to throw at us? Oh, it was out for about five minutes, basically with a boss fight. Oh, darn it. I don't think we talked about anything too significant, just that it was a weird looking boss and he didn't know how to fight. Yeah. It's... And we mentioned magical huts. We got it all right too, and they got and it gets really fast. I mean, that's not that much of an achievement. It wasn't a hard boss. <laughs> Which means this next boss is gonna be rough. I remember what this boss is off the top of my head. You know what? Wario looks like he could be, like, the, the main villain in a movie called The Greasy Strangler. Yeah? Oh, wait, no, that's an actual movie, isn't it? Is it? The Greasy Strangler, Is yeah. Wario the villain? Uh, I think, I think some, like, people in matching leotards are. Okay, close enough. Something. The Greasy Strangler. Some, like, I, uh, like, imagine a dude at, with a descriptor of greasy. Yeah? What do you, what do you think of? Uh, like, uh, Roach Coach? <laughs> Powerpuff Girls? That's good! That's really good! Just... You consider Oreo to be greasy? Yeah, he's yeah. a greasy, he's a greasy Bizana kind of dude. Mia. What about, like, I imagine a dude who, like, goes to bars, like, until really late in the morning, and then he just does, looks like he never took a shower in his life. Yeah. Oh, now we shovels. have shovels. Come here. Damn it. Final unithorn dude. layer, and dude. it's got Oh, really? Well, it's got those ones sticking up to make you think for a second that they're blocks. Uh, yeah, that... the to trick the, 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 the careless the eyes. I... This fucking track. Yeah. That, I don't know what I think of when I hear that, but it's like... Does that... I just got a donut. <laughs> oh, you're getting the buffet table back. Ah, that's where I left my breakfast. Like some, like like it's the beginning of a quirky mini boss fight. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I need something to throw. Where are you? There you are. I oh, need to get back in the thing though. In the thing? You know the. Oh, that tail has got physics. It's so cool. They can do that on the GameCube. Physics! Yeah. Uh, Looks simple enough! He <laughs> sailed the mount! Hmm. Bye bye! <laughs> no, B, yeah, B climbs up. Is that really all that was necessary? The big scorpers are so annoying when they bury them in the sand. Okay. How do I get out of here alive? I don't. Okay. <laughs> Check the volume. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Darian has been very good about letting us know when it goes out. We appreciate it. Yes. Oh, yep. this is the cash pyramid. <laughs> so what are the rules of the cash pyramid? Oh, I only needed that one. The cash pyramid. You gotta you gotta answer questions in proper hieroglyphic. Yeah. Like a game show idea. Yeah. Yeah, it's a cash cap with on a, in a pyramid. Oh. Oh, this looks fun. This is actually much easier than it looks. Ow. I mean, you wouldn't know that just unless you ha happen to just try it, but. The stone cold statue is a real asshole, Wario. Thanks, 
Monsieur. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for saying it like that, guy. We know how much you love rewards, Wario. I like this guy. Nice and simple. He gets me. <laughs> he tells me what to do and what I'll get from it. Pay me. Hey. Hey, asshole. He's getting more Brooklyn now. Brooklyn Wario. Oh, that's weird to picture. He... <laughs> Fuck you, Luigi! He's the Cosmo Kramer of, uh, of the Mario Brothers. Sure. So, Lou Albano... Or is, that, or is that Waluigi? So, Lou Albano was actually Brooklyn himself. I believe so. Uh, I might have to do some, uh, citation needed on that. Yeah. Hmm. Just, no. You hit oh. it in the corner. Well, first... You say mine? Can I just like uh No, I can't do anything from there. Did, did you say mine? Mine. mine. Oh. Hmm. It's over. You're gonna have to redo it. Yeah? I have an idea. Here's my idea. That was- that was wrong. That wasn't the idea. Okay, I'm gonna do it this time. I'm gonna put this one d uh, what am I doing? Good question. Okay, I remember. I'm gonna put this one down. I'm gonna send this one over. Yep, okay, they work like that. I just have to be on that one. <laughs> you have to do a, da a running dash. Did this come out before Mario Sunshine? I don't think so. I, don't think so. I think I this came know. out after. I think they're pretty comparable. This was 2003, if I remember right. I don't know when Sunshine was. Uh, alright. Hmm. Nope, top one first. Damn it. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing now. I'm, I'm problem solving. Oops. Uh, Sunshine was 2002, so same year. I don't know which month came out first, but they were apparently in development at the same time. Huh. And, uh, Sunshine won out. I mean, I assume so. It's a Mario game. Yeah. Alright. But I can't make it there in time is the problem. That that's quitters talk and you did very well wait, for that attempt. Wait. I think I know. I think I remember it. Give me one more try. I got this. Top one first. Nope, oh, hold on. Now check this out. Oh. Ah! Oh. Out of bounds! I don't think that's the way you're supposed to do it, but that is the way I've always done it. <laughs> I think there's a... Here we go! Yeah! <laughs> it's an obtuse trick. The floating levels at sky levels in this game look a lot like the secret levels in Sunshine. I've mentioned that. That yes. is true. And I like both levels types. 
Oh, tornado generator. Okay. Need that? You can, you can take it, poodle. It's a giant mummified poodle. Mine. Eh. Now, if you fall down that pit, is that gonna send you to a uh, dog land? No. You actually cannot fall down that pit. There's a. Uh, if you land in there, it summons a mini boss of another version of the antlion boss. Uh, there he is. Bye. Oh, and you just... Okay. Totally optional, but he's there. He's a degraded villain. He is. Because you're at the... Because it's the last level. <laughs> the architecture is... Oh, something. here we go. I guess they were expecting you to do that, for, do that for the other one. I don't think they were expecting it, but it's a way to... It's an option. I don't know for sure. Now, how are you going to get up there... Hmm. Oh. Spot check. <laughs> A laser jiggle fish. <laughs> laser. Is it? Are they sharks? Really? With... That's the final boss. It's a laser. It's a shark with the laser on its head, like uh, like uh, Doctor Evil wanted. Oh, it's those things. Not not a boss. Third laser jellyfish. That, that they They're are. Jellyfish! Hit the button! Oh, okay. Okay. You just bypass it? What were you thinking? I was looking for stuff, and I found a hatch. A mirror. Oh, there's more of me. God damn it! You're too, it's so imprecise. Too, the, the heads are too wide. No, I need you! Hey. Do your thing! Thank you. You're coming with me. Now, are they gonna be too big? Oh, uh, I hope not. I mean, you can still go through with anything, any object, it's just not reliable. Yeah. Oh, this one. Ow! Ever play Mario Toadstool Tour? I've not played a Mario Golf game. Actually, I haven't. I don't think I've ever played a Mario sports game. Uh, have you? I mean, kart car racing's a sport. If that counts. So you never played Mario Tennis? Nope. Super Mario Strikers? Nope. Not, haven't played Mario Golf. Mario Hoop, Mario Hoops, three on three. That was a thing, I forgot. What is it with the fucking Nintendo and their obsession with like sports games at that time? Uh-oh, uh-oh! You should have dashed. Well, the platform moves back and forth. I'm waiting for it to come to me. Oh, it goes, it goes back and forth. It didn't seem like it. I thought... I'm gonna get in the middle. That's what I'm gonna do. Here it comes. Come. Get ready. Come to me. Okay, now wait. Thank you. Okay. Mine! So let me tell you the bizarre story of how I got my hands on Toadstool Tour as a kid. Okay, okay. go ahead. We're waiting with the... In the we love stories. Uh oh! Okay. So. Hey, I guess if you make it into like one big uh, wall of text, we can read it out. Uh oh, no, not the suck. You're in the suck zone. 
Oh, uh, I have a... Of all things, uh, somebody made a, an edit for uh, Guy Fieri. In Fire Pro? Yes. Not surprising? Yeah, his finisher's called Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. Which is that a dive? I don't... I don't know, I haven't used them yet. I've been testing them out to see how good they are, and... The Jason Voorhees one is, the is like, the most surprisingly pro wrestler of them all. Yeah? Just because he, he does, like... He actually has pro wrestling logic. I downloaded a Walter White, a.k.a. Heisenberg one, and yeah. all he does is headbutt people. Yeah? Because <laughs> he's bald. Is that the joke? Is I don't know. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Or is that a thing he did in the show? His finish... I, I don't know what he did in the... You know, he's not really much of a fighter. He's an old no. man dying of cancer. Yeah. I feel like I probably missed something. It, you, it, yeah, I'm gonna guarantee you he did. Alright, let's see. What, what is the story? Oh. Get up there. I want to hear what, the, what Darian's uh, experience was with... With getting... Well, I'm busy. I'm doing video game stuff. Okay, I'll get up there later. I think, uh... Hold on, I can't look away. I'm, I'm, it's hard platforming. I think I got out of the hospital and there was a wishing fountain in front of the parking lot, so they gave me a quarter toss in there and make a wish. My two favorite things were Mario 64 and golf. I had no clue whatsoever that a Mario golf game existed. <laughs> So you wish for a Mario Golf game? I just combined the two in my head and said Mario Golf. And then a week later, my dad shows up and hands me Mario Toadstool Tour. Oh, that's that's an adorable story, actually. Now, there was, uh... The, I don't know if it counts as part of the Mario Golf series, but they're the golf game on the NES that was all Mario characters. So that golf was... game on the NES... Yeah, there was a golf game on the NES that was Mario characters, so I think that would be called the first Mario Golf. Yeah, you know what was funny as a kid? I, uh, I thought that, uh, that, like, I was, I, I was, like, thinking, how the hell would Mario Tennis work? Like, what happened? You, you, you miss a receive, and then, uh, Mario does his, like, just dive face, jumps in the air, and falls down? Yeah. Because all, all, all I knew about was, uh, Mario Brothers 3 at the time, and all I thought was, oh, whenever you fuck up... He makes a bad, he makes a face of, like, displeasure, who jumps up and falls down. Yeah. And I thought that's what would happen in, like, Mario Golf or something. You didn't make, you missed the par! Now he's gonna just jump up and, and fall to the ground. No, you're thinking of Mario Sunshine. You know, when you fail at popping balloons on a roller coaster. Oh, yeah. Then you die. <laughs> I got my wish, uh, or I, I, I didn't expect that to do it. And then I think, I think there was also Mario Golf on the 64, wasn't there? Uh, yeah, I, I believe so. I think Toadstool Tour was the, the third one. If you count the NES one. Do you, do you care about golf at all? I like real golfing. I don't know that I would like a Mario Golf game. So you're saying there's a chance it would be interesting to play. Maybe. Your, your ability to phase tank spikes won't help you here. I mean, it could. <laughs> I got this. Welcome to the most uh, uh, sadistic ninja warrior course. We have you're, ambulances outside. You have a you, you have half a heart, by the way. I know. I feel like I should let you know that. I think it'll just reset me in here anyway. But if you believe my, I, I am not trying to die. <laughs> well, that was close. Uh oh. Oh, that's a big pit. Do you I don't want to fall in there. Is it Ganon's castle? Sure. Oh, no! Damn her. First try. Second try. Third try. Four. Five. Ow. It's just... Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Five. I
don't even want it. I'm nine, the beast! Nine. Oh man, that I feel like that should be a donation incentive. Why? For like, a game's done quick. Every missed box, you and like, every time God. you fall in like the fucking pit, every missed box is a dollar that the runner has to donate. Yeah? One. Two. That would stack up quickly if they fall in as often as we do. They're speedrunners, they're not supposed to fall in. Yeah. It's to punish themselves for fucking up. Oh. Total uh, master forgive me moment. You have to donate as many co as many uh, pennies as you lose coins <laughs> in the entire game. That 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 would be a bit harsh. That ad that adds up. Yeah. Oh, you can't. Don't fucking fall! I'm trying to land and walk around the. You can't You're land on that side. There's an invisible, like, slope that pushes you into the pit on that side Stop of it. Stop jumping down there! Uh, I, I have to explore, Jack. You're dying! You jump down there! They, you, because you fall I down here! The you jump down there, you fall down here! Did I tell you the definition of insanity? Because I didn't sense the slope last time. That's why I'm mentioning it just now. Jeez, you're impatient. In your, in, yeah? Don't jump down there. I'm not. I'm gonna jump down the other side. Fuck there it. isn't another side. Hey, there's. You did that on purpose. No, I didn't. I'm trying, really. Oh, I am. <laughs> I wonder if it's more cost effective to just die. Yeah. Because that's 600 coins now. 75 times five. Which is 8 garlic. So, no, it's still more effective for garlic as of now. Yeah. I mean, I guess that it's really expensive if you die, so. Okay. Oh, look, you didn't fall. Yeah. I knew you could do it. I hear a thing, but I guess I'll get to him later. Yeah. I guess you will. <laughs> no, you f Okay, there's nothing over You there. fucking impulsive twit! I walked around the left side, just, and there was stuff there. There was a button. Just, uh, I'm a, there was a button? Yeah, and I hit I it. don't believe you! I'll walk back over and show it to you. No, how dare you explore! You can just go to the end of the Oh wait, we're missing a bunch of stuff. Shut up! Where was the hey. Yeah! That? that was over there! Yeah. Not down there! Around the edge of it! You don't you're gonna fall again! Cause you can walk around part of it and they put an invisible wall around another part. You're Cause they're assholes! I gotta touch the poop! I gotta look for the poop, it's part of the 100%! Well, it w I remember that there was nothing down there! Why are you sitting smug at limbs if I you don't believe me? I don't believe you, that's why. You're gonna need to pile drive something down there. Yeah. And that's gonna put me back at the start of the level is what that's gonna do. What, really? Oh, is that... Can I really not get them here? There he goes. Alright, here we go. Oh. Another one that needs a dude? No? Okay. Well, be honored 
be coming with me even though you didn't need to. You get to. Oh, you can't. You launch yourself? No. Hmm. There's a gap there, so I can't start a corkscrew. And I don't have enough time on the cloud to do one. I can start it in the air after I fall off the first block. But I still don't get far enough. Maybe I'm just jumping too early. Maybe. Some of these final challenges are very technical. Yeah? You sound like you don't believe me. Ugh, like trying is believing. Oh, got it. <laughs> they move! Eh. Oh, more dick blocks. Just cuz. There's more? Yeah. Not much more, but, you know. Little extra challenge, just cuz. That was like an Indiana Jones treasure. They hid that shit well. Yeah, you gotta open the path to the treasure and then. and then do some. a spot of climbing. Feel like Laura Croft yet? They didn't make me uh, swap it out with a weight, though. That was nice. <laughs> no, Indiana Jones fucked up because he did that. Yeah? Yeah, because... I mean, if he'd just taken it, then it wouldn't have gone off as well, right? No, yeah, yeah, he was he was too clever. He was, like, thinking, uh, if I... But if he'd just taken it and not put a weight there, the but, boulder still would have come. No! We don't know that! Yeah? Like, because he put weight the sand down, and then it, fe it fell in. Yeah? It, it wouldn't moved. have fallen in if, if like, it, it was, if it was, there's nothing there. You think so? That doesn't make sense! Maybe that's just how the trap works. What? <laughs> what? Yeah? What? What are you talking about? I don't know. What do you thought? Do you know ancient Incan traps? I don't. Was it Incan? I don't know, was it? I don't know, it was, I think it was, uh, African. Oh. Is that where they landed the plane? The plane? What the? <laughs> there's something over here. Do I have to walk on this face? No, there's no. a slope. Love their invisible slopes. Yeah, I don't. I don't think uh, any Ed Jones putting the he. Here's a what the, the fuck? The GameCube does not like this as spot. Mirror. Oh, no, bird, you'll do. Bird! Birds! I don't Jellyfish! You put the band of sag the 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 sand the bag sand on the trap on the thing and it fell in. Yeah. So why would there not be a statue trigger in any way? What, does it just go up? Why would does it go up and touch the ceiling and then the temple falls apart and the boulders come? Why would it have not fallen in if the statue was on it? Because the, 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 the bag was heavier. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, this is the fun one. It was Inkin, says chat. Ancient Inkin. Oh, okay. Then why did it pause for a moment before falling in instead of immediately falling like gravity would? Because <laughs> because it was a ultra... mechanism. It wasn't gravity. <laughs> that the because I, I always understood it as the joke was uh, was Indiana Jones put something there that was heavier and then it just went in anyway. No. 
I think you're I don't think it was a joke at all. I thought it was a joke. I think it was just a track at trap activating. I mean, this is a series with some funny moments. Yeah, that's just not one of them. <laughs> what, you're saying it wasn't funny? Yes. It's a subversion of expectations. You think, oh, he did it, then suddenly it just goes in anyway. Because oh, no, it's a, this was too bag, easy. Was this, that this, funny? The bag of sand was too heavy. Was it funny when Christopher Lee and the Rhapsody guys got chased by zombies? <sighs> You're mean today. Yeah? Am I? Because I don't agree with your your theories on old movies. Like you're you're just you're just hating on fucking Undertale. I just, and then you're that would have could have been any day. You didn't ask about it any other day. <laughs> I didn't ask about Undertale. Okay, good. There's a shortcut. <laughs> you thought it would just take you somewhere else. Yeah! Okay, I got this. Oops! This is a really in-depth conversation for a primitive mechanism in an Indiana Jones movie. I mean... That's how I always thought it worked! Yeah? Was that the band of the... The, the bag of sand was too heavy! Why don't you Google it and see what other people thought about the scene? I don't want to get my phone! Yeah? It's low on power. It's always low on power. I... Today... I forgot to charge it last night, that's why it's low. Oh, only last night. <laughs> why are you so mean today? I'm full of so I'm full of piss and vinegar like Wario. <laughs> I should pull a deal and rip your front teeth out. Yeah? Just Well the young ones today sure are full of piss and vinegar, aren't they? <laughs> ah, what'd you do that for? <laughs> Just I guess I guess Dio didn't realize that that was... I, was it complimenting him? Just like, oh, you're, no. you're full of spirit. I don't think so. He didn't seem too bothered by it. Well, that was the joke, you see. It's a subversion of expectations. Fuck you! You're a jerk! I, I actually do think it's true for that case, though. I think that was the joke, is because he was smiling and acting happy while being an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> You wanna try? <laughs> you didn't go far enough. No, I wasn't looking where I leapt. This is Jack. Oh, there's sweat. The sweat, though. Alright. I'm gonna go the long way. I wanna do this once. Carefully. I think this is the longest, the last and most elaborate of the sub-worlds in the game. Ah. Oh, you're going isometric with it. What well, was? Squares are for losers! Squares are for squares, you say? It's all about the diamonds! Wario loves the diamonds! I love dime. I love diamonds, Mario! Apparently, that, uh, that Mona girl in WarioWare actually does think Wario's, like, super cool. <laughs> so... I mean, wouldn't you? I mean, I guess that, sure, he has a ship. It's not, he's not a princess, but... She's... Somebody. I don't think he's ever shown interest in her, but... <laughs> I think, though, that, like, people are like, why is she so interested in him? Why, indeed. Why did the... That whole, uh, 
Still trying to work on Gorlex T Armageddon. Okay, you do that. I'm Wait, down. Where, where? Oh, okay. There we go. Shut up, Spriteling! We're coming! It's, uh... This requires precision. You remember that brief arc in GT where Goku was, like, in the afterlife and playing a board game with a magic tanuki? Oh, yeah, that was weird. I feel like these subworlds are something that would be constructed by such a creature. <laughs> come play, uh... Come it's play so Mario easy to go me. at an angle, yeah. right? Yeah. Ah, all right. Also, I think that other path has a statue on it. Fuck! A statue and a Spriteling? Maybe. There we go. Oh, wait. Was I going- am I going the right way? Yes. Alright, good. For a second I wasn't sure. You think these are ancient, Fuck! like, ancient rune blocks? Ancient rune blocks? They got things on the side of them. Oh, like, you touch them and then suddenly you gain extra powers? Or just they were made by some ancient civilization. Uh, you mean the civilization that, like, uh, halted the crystal in its tracks a thousand years ago, or however long the crystal existed? They look like water temple textures. I guess a little bit. He repurposed water temple... Assets for this game. They got lots of eyes on them. Lots right. of Sheikah eyes. Oh, wow! <laughs> that was so weird. You really gotta, like, take your time to line yourself up. Yeah. Long dashing ain't no, like, uh, easy thing. It's not something you can just do. You gotta, you gotta take your time with it. Just slowly line yourself up and then, and then take and then the plunge. Wah! Question mark. It's a good thing we're not Waluigi or this would be way too fast. We'd be flying off the ledges left and right. Oh man. The Waluigi speed game. Precision platforming as Wasonic. I want to see like a, a picture of Sonic the Hedgehog and Waluigi running just as fast, fast next to him giving him like the victory symbol. I don't think... Can no. I make... No. Yeah. Maybe, but I wouldn't risk it. Line up. I'll post that line up. Dang, there we go. Oh no, that's just a coin down there. Okay! First jump successful. Looks <laughs> good. Looks good. I overshot it. Maybe you just do a normal jump to that one? I guess that'll work. The calculation, the precision needed. Uh, every I... jump so thoroughly calculated. Hey, NASA, can you help me out with my Wario World calculations? We're sending three men, post haste. Appreciate it. Here you go for it. Back to me. I'm doing worse. Oh. Damn it. I did it so consistently before. I'll go the medium way then. Would you prefer to have Undertale have a manual to explain its the, the rich backstory? Sure. <laughs> I think that would have spoiled a lot of it, but... Like, like, the convoluted parts are mostly about, uh, Azrael. Oh, the... Uh, ast astral? Yeah, that kid. The d Astral Dreamer? The kid who died and became a flower. Spoiler! So, here, here... His soul went into a flower. Yeah? Or, I... No, they tried... 
I think the thing that happened is supposed to happen is that uh, his soul got tr transmuted, or his remains got transmuted into a flower. You think? I. I. There's I, uncertainty here. It's implied. There yeah. was like they were is talking it? about like research. We read notes. Yeah. So about read, putting people in flowers. God damn it. About like. Oh god, our son got killed by a bunch of uh, humans. Uh, is there anything you can do? I'm sure we can resurrect them. And then they try using uh, determination. And they end up. Uh, he ends up becoming. His remains end up getting fused into a flower. And then the flower goes missing. And that's Fla and that's Flowey Dreamer. Yeah. As I think how that goes. Like. 90% sure. Does that make it any better? I actually knew that, but okay. Okay. Well, in, the, in that case, I don't know. I, you just don't like the plot of the game because you just don't like the plot of the game, which is understandable. I don't remember enough about it. I was too confused going through it to remember what it was that confused me. You think, you think you need, it's due for a second playthrough just to... There's those types of games where you have to kind of play them like a couple times in order to... Uh... Oh! You didn't need to do a fucking dash jump! Well, that makes it a little easier. Okay, we made it. Alright. Sorry about the delay, everyone. We're back on track. Something's wrong, Wario. You're ignoring the coins. I want to get out of this fucking maze. I'm so tired of being here. All right, that's that is dash jump. This shit. Oh, there's more. Not this shit again. That was supposed to be a, a sub, right? Yeah. And it was, it was the, the emperor saying "Nato disu shitu ag again" or something. And they tra- and they tra- I wonder what it was actually was. I don't know. They, they made the joke- joke subtitle. He was just talking in English. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I assume he wasn't. Not this shit again. Line it up. There you go. I will avenge my mother's death- death. And overthrow you in, in the, as the ruler of Britannia. Oh, God. Not again. You see this every time we meet. Can't we just have one Father's Day where you don't- where you talk about anything else? Besides overthrowing me, Lelouch. I'll see you next year. Be a weird Father's Day. <laughs> Father's son time. The hell am I going? Uh, Dead ends? Really? Uh... Uh... Well, I need to go get up there. Uh, let's circling around th that way. Oh, fuck! I can taste it. Hmm. Hey, welcome to the camera. Come here. I've never gotten lost on this level before. I just went through the things and I got to where I needed to go. Oh, there's crystals. Yeah, so you need to find the, the Spriteling. I mean, I see the Spriteling. Oh, is it down there? No, it's up above. Oh. I need to get up to it somehow. Well, then follow the path and see what... Oh, it's... Ah, oh, what? Oops. Well, I thought maybe there'd be like a switch down here that would move a platform, but there isn't. Oh, you gotta start from scratch. Where are you? Well, we got the treasure, or the jewel. We can afford to not save one Spriteling, right? No. Now, Wario, we need to save all our people. Not <laughs> this shit again. You had no excuse. Yeah. It's fine, you got the crystal. Now you just need to find, uh... You need to find Jerry, the Spriteling. <laughs> Who's 
losing all our viewers. Are we? I don't know. Alright. This doesn't go up anywhere, does it? No. It goes up there. I have a feeling that this uh, one in particular really fucked with me. Yeah? Is there anything over here besides a coin? No. No. Go. Up. Amazing the fucking sky. At least it's not an enclosed maze, so you won't get claustrophobic. <sighs> this is a masterpiece of design right here. Yeah? Wait, is, oh no, that's just garlic. Just in case you got hit by spikes, I guess. Alright, then it's this one. Okay. Oh, I didn't go over here. Way? You're supposed to jump. I'm just going right here because I haven't been. Okay. Sounds close. I think you go you gotta go the opposite way though. Well we went the opposite way and we hit a dead I, end. Oh, is, is it getting louder? I don't know. I'm done we're going down a path we haven't been on yet. There we go. God, that was hard. I'm the last Sprightling prisoner. Thank God! Oh, God. How many did you save? Looks like all of the... Uh, check it. God, you, you just leave and then... Oh, you missed one! Oh, wait. And in Mirror Mansion as well. Oh, fuck! Okay. Nah, 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 nah. All right, that's all the. What? Do you... Oh, it's. What? It's close. I hear it. Probably up top. Oh, look, spades. Come here. We're gonna dig out this pyramid. So it's magnets and then shovels. Yes. Oh, no! You... <laughs> That's gonna disappear soon. Have a rock. Is it close? Oh, treasure, please. Oh. Oh. I'll get to you later. Nope. Ah! What's that fiery? Is that its mouth? Yes, it breathes okay. fire. Oh, it's got a realistic skeleton. Fuck. Where, you, where do I aim? Aim for the glowing bits. That's not obvious. I'm a king of the world! You're on top of... This is where you rule. Fucking nothing. Spriteling? You hear it. Where are you, fella? Over here. Was that Bowser? Maybe. So down. Uh. Left. Or right. Fucking surround is just, just throwing me off. No, oh, that's getting deaf, like quieter. Where are ya? There 
go. Iron Cider, the goal up ahead. Okay. okay. You know where my last treasure is? I'm out of treasure. Is there a missing? Is there a? There's not a switch you missed, right? I don't think so. I don't know for sure. It's either a switch or a or a floor trap. Oh, okay. Yeah, yes, you did it! Poodles, mummies. Oh, oh there's a. My. Hey! hey! Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go beat up a boss and leave. Uh, and then so we get, sick of death. We got it. Then we gotta find the fucking uh, other one. And the other little Johnny No Show went she... wandering off from his parents. <laughs> Left Daddy Wario. Now I gotta go back for him. Where you bounced mean... off my head? What do you mean your brother's off back to? God damn it! Wario looks everywhere for the sprightling, can't find it. Then he gets a call from Waluigi. Hey, I found a something of yours. <laughs> My rotten kids. Have you I feel like that would be an interesting movie. Is disgruntled parent Wario? It basically, be it basically a combination of Mr. Deeds and Big Daddy. Can that be his role in the Mario Brothers movie they're making? Can Wario just be a, a disgruntled dad? <laughs> a dead end job. Oh, this is red car. What? Wow, this they is. They keep dying too fast. Yeah, that's not it. You're, you're too far. <laughs> you fuck! Oh. <laughs> he did it before! Is it off again, the, the sound? Nope. Okay, good. God damn it, stop shut up tasing me! <laughs> Dude! I did it! I'm up! And we got everything, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Wait, 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 go back. That's the boss. What's in the center? No, wait, hold on. The what's the second from the le from the left. What? Oh, is that is that a treasure? Oh, that is. It's a hawk. I thought that was a question mark for some reason. No. All right. Okay, here we go. So Jack Zelrog and I were discussing how both your personalities bounce off each other, and that's why your commentary works so well. Because <laughs> we argue a lot. Thank you. Because you're the excitable one, and I'm the. Oh, hey, hand boss. Do we just have another one of those this game? God damn it! You're not you're timing. I know. Get hit. Hit your own hand. Oh, it destroyed, destroyed it. it. Ah! It's just it's the it's the fucking uh, it's the head from Aladdin. Yeah. The Tomb of Wonders. The Tomb of Wonders. Cave of Wonders. Yeah, the cave. And it, it was possessed by Heartless. How many hands does this thing have? You're, you're actually fighting, uh... Uh, that one, uh, Kali... Mob God. Yeah? From Indiana Jones? Yeah. We still on that? He's a cop. <laughs> I don't... You know, the Incans, the Incans must have been fucking, uh, geniuses. To set such advanced traps? Yeah! Like... Well, that wasn't that hard. It's nice that every boss has pocket change. I get to steal their wallet after I'm done. Yeah! Tear guy up and get his fucking money. Why don't we talk about the mechanism that holds up the lamp in Cave of Wonders? The one that falls after the lamp is removed, you mean? Not, was that the, was that what caused the Cave of Wonders to fuck off? 
I thought it was Abu touching a statue it wasn't supposed to touch. Yeah! I thought that was how that worked. Yeah. The lamp he was allowed to have. You could have this. But you can't have this. Alright. No. Damn it, Eric Cartman's fucking annoying. So it's the... Yeah, my... Sprightling number four. You have to listen for him. Oh, we're over three hours now. That level took us a while. Yeah, I, I imagine. <laughs> Dick block. This will do. No, y yes. No, it won't do. It did. It opened it up, kind of. Not enough. It's actually really hard to spin to the left. For me. God damn it! Oof. You, you're, you do things the first time, and then you do them the second time, and the second time is not impossible for you. Wait. Yeah? It's weird. I'm gonna let the guy run out before I move. There we go. Uh, Sprightling. Hello. It's fine. One last visit to our old buddy, Thorn. It's not gonna be the last time I feel. Yeah? Think it'll happen again on this level? Maybe. What if you could fall off the arena for the final boss fight and there was a final Unithorn lair? <laughs> it was all water. Yeah? <laughs> Wait. No. Oh, those mice sure are loud. Don't have to fight mirrors anymore. And it's the fourth one, so it has to be closer to the end than the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, it's a. Uh, you, you're right about that. God, being back here. The level feels so empty now with nothing to collect. Yeah. Oh man, I left my kid at the mall. Now I gotta. I gotta find him. After closing. I'm done with my Christmas shopping. You know what, though? It shows that Wario cares. <laughs> Did he's come in here for this little guy, even though he's already got all his treasure? <laughs> there was, a uh, One point where, uh... Uh, these two guys were watching this, uh... This other dude, uh... Billy MC play, like, a game. And his, uh, his video got interrupted, right? Yeah? And he's, he's like, oh, that was my mother on the phone. She, uh, asked me... She's out doing a bit of Christmas shopping. She asked me if I wanted anything at McDonald's. Yeah? With, I guess, the joke uh, being that, uh... Oh, he is, his mother shopped for him at uh, McDonald's. Yeah? That's all he gets. He's funny. Yeah, it's... So is Majora's Mask the next stream? We uh, don't know. We haven't done Pokemon in quite a while. Yeah. We gotta get back to that. I haven't done Spyro in a while. The four games we're doing right now are this, Majora, Pokemon, and Spyro 3. Yes. So we might and do Spyro next time. This will be this will be the last Wario stream, so... Might start something new soon. We'll see. Oh, hey, the motif of this, uh... Why'd you do that? I don't know, I thought I could dash for some reason. The motif of this level is similar to that of, uh falling down in the pit. You hear that? 
the music? Well, that's like the Wario theme. Oh. Oh no, the other one is, uh... Sorry, the one going down there is... This is, uh... Yeah. Yeah, different. Sorry. Never mind. Also, oh, that's a theme, not a motif. Where are you, buddy? I'm here. I'm here to save you. Put your faith in Wario. Oh, is it down there? Obey Wario. There we go. Final puzzle. Zelrog, you could get on Crash Bash for solo streams. We're planning to do that together, yeah. I think, because it's a rare co-op game. Yeah, and, uh... So that might be something we start after this. Maybe. We'll see. Here's the last one. Might find areas that appear to be dead ends ahead. Thanks, I got it. Oh, no. You didn't get the other thing. Crystal. Yep, we missed oh, a we crystal, too. Oh, we missed a crystal, too. too. I guess so. Check it again. Yep, that's everything. Yep. You got it this time, for reals. Even the crazy glasses. There's no, like, option to just quit, is there? Return to the courtyard. Okay, cool. Is this really okay? Is this really okay? I don't know, game. Tell You tell me. It's so happy. Okay. Yeah, alright. Okay, it keeps it good. All right. Nah, 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 nah. You want to take this boss? Uh, sure. What is this boss? I feel like this is a Jack boss. This is the one I thought the last boss was. Oh, cool. Captain Skull. Why the fuck is there a pirate ship in the desert? Who knows? Whoa. Arm cannon. He's pissed off at Wario, though. And there's springs. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, oh my. my. Well, that's a hard knock. I'm up here. I bet he's gonna fire up there now. So, what the oh. fuck? He's got a nuke! Uh, guy! Can you go over and punch him? <laughs> oh, it is that simple. Drown. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got a hook shot! Sorry, long shot, the good one. Nice try! <laughs> Can I... So I, I kind of want to pile drive him off into the water. You suck. You can pile drive him onto the ice, the rock below. You can walk on that. Uh, he didn't even get to fire his thing. Wow, this is piss easy. There's a rock down there. You're the second to last boss. Well, yeah, there it is. Yeah. Oh, is this is this a good idea? Oh. And he flings himself over like goddamn Spider-Man. That is scary as fuck! I, I want you to realize it's that- It's like a little mini Majora Moon flying at you and exploding. It's okay, Wario is Wario is Wario tough. He just gets briefly knocked unconscious from it. I hope falling into the water doesn't reset his uh, hit points. I don't think it does. Oh, he blocked! You can throw some dynamite at him. I was thinking of it, but he, uh... I think now he needs to be vulnerable before you can attack by... He needs to use a move or something. Perhaps. Like, maybe you can catch him after he throws a bomb. Nope, oh, sorry about the can... Sorry about the cannonball. It's tough. I'm sure he'll present an opening eventually. Just wait. Probably stop running over to him. Cause that's not working. Listen, guy. 
He's got super armor. You can't touch him, Wario. Are you gonna... Are you gonna fight now? He's just gonna shoot you till you leave his half of the boat. What? He's not gonna change his pattern until you leave this part of the boat. I have to leave? Yeah. You have to be on the other side as him. Or opposite side. Then what? Reflect his fucking... I don't know. He'll do some big attack or something. I'll leave him open. No, he's still glowing. I mean, you should avoid the tax by like going to the crow's nest Fuck or something. You, you, you should do this. No, you should do that. No, you. Well, you're just doing the same thing over and over again, getting hit over and over again. You know the definition of insanity, Jack. You're a fucking asshole today. You're not wrong. You're just an asshole. Oh, throw those at him. There we go. There's a thing. Oh, that works. Oh. Now we gotta hurry. Fuck's sake! And then he just hooks us to the same spot. What if that were a weapon in Hyrule Warriors, the mini moon? You just fire giant bombs in the shape of the moon. Nope. Well, right, now we resume the cycle, waiting for him again. Raise these. Hey! Very generous, too. Oh, I left garlic for you. Oh, if I get a chance, I'm gonna pile drive him off the fu- Yeah! Let's do it. Hit me! Come on, hit me! He's got Quincy arrows. Seems like it. It doesn't look like those can even hurt you. They're just ammunition. Yeah. Oh god, let me get off! No! I want to fucking- FUCK! I wanna- I wanna pile drive him off the fucking- Crows that what the fuck? Yeah, I missed the fucking thing. There we go. Just gotta get over to him. Fuck you! Down we go! Oh yeah! There we go! The pirate is dead. You've been, you've been very mean to me today, and I want you to reflect on your actions. I'm sorry, Jack. <laughs> you don't mean it! I still think Undertale is very convoluted. I don't- I'm not talking about that! Talk about you just smugly throwing the shit I say back at me! Well, maybe you shouldn't say it in the first place, no, Jack. You're not wrong! You're just an asshole! <laughs> okay. Let's go destroy an evil jewel. You know, let's do that. You are ready to end this. The fucking pirate. Of all things, the worlds in this game are so arbitrary. Just like a mishmash of levels that were probably from a bigger game with more defined worlds. Yeah. That they couldn't finish. This game was. You think this game was unfinished? Feel it feels like it was kind of hurried out. Maybe they didn't think it would sell well because it was a Wario game, and so they didn't put that much effort into it comparatively. Yeah, perhaps. Maybe like Luigi's Mansion came out. And they were disappointed. Maybe Mario Sunshine came out and they were disappointed by how people reacted. <laughs> oh no, he's destroying all the other worlds. It's time for the final battle. But I liked those places. On Kingdom Hearts Pentagram Place. It's a squirrel.
Do you want the sword, the shield, or the scepter? So it's supposed to be an evil eldritch abomination, right? Of sorts. It's an evil jewel. It's like a it's, it's like tentacles. The, it's like the pillarman of jewels. Yeah. I'm a pile drive a jewel. Yeah, do it. I love right. how there's no boss in this game that's immune to just being picked up and pile driven. Yeah, it's good. It's a uh, well, there are like some that you don't get the opportunity to because you gotta like trick them into attacking themselves or what or what have you. Yeah. What a creepy background. Just like the, the death background with a rainbow? Yeah. Just the inverted rainbow, man. Where are you? So if you didn't unlock them all, they're still there? I think so. Or I think they actually appear in the crystals in their cages, and you can still summon them to help in the fight. <laughs> Weird. It is kind of weird. So what's the story here? Like, we freed them all and this th th this thing captured them again? You fool! You think you can doubt my power? I'm gonna seal them all again! And where he's like, oh yeah, well, I'll just break them free again. And he put them in Ganon crystals? Yeah. Ganon learned it from this guy, or this guy learned it from Ganon? One or the other. Ganon and his evil jewel buddy. Oh, did that work? Yeah. Okay. And why is he summoning them in front of you? Maybe I, I guess don't maybe know. they're breaking free. It's a good question. Also, it's, this... it's a Nintendo boss, so it's probably better not to question it too much. <laughs> I don't know what the studio that actually made this game is. Because Nintendo has different in-house studios. I wonder. I, they don't ever name most of their studios. I, I know of uh, Intelligent Design. EAD is the one that was behind, I think, the Mario Land games. I don't know if they did Wario, the Wario Lands. I can take it. What was the team that did Super Mario World? Was it just Nintendo in-house development team? Well, it's one of them. Probably the main one, I would assume, is in charge of the console-heavy Mario games, yeah. but I don't I know. So this is where the purple gem is. Now you can go on the purple gem path and crash too. It's kind of it's kind of weird how uh, how Super Mario World had a uh, its fights were at, at, uh, I'm sorry not fights it, uh, its gameplay was at once a step forward and a step back from Super Mario Brothers three. In some ways, yeah. Yeah. By the way, the purple gem is on top of a bunch of nitro crates and behaving. That's how well I know Crash! <laughs> it's better to just tank half a heart of damage than sit through this stupid, like, laser pound cycle. He doesn't you know? have any other attacks. No, he just traps you in fire, and once the area is small enough, he'll do that thing where he shoots fireballs at you. That's it. Bye-bye! Right. Oh, that was weird. That was a cool angle. What are you gonna do? Final, final one. W what's your plan? Nothing different. No new attacks. That's cool. I won't do anything different either. Cool dynamic boss. Oh, you got trapped. Bye bye. Honey warrior, don't give a fuck. And. Ah, oh, it's a good what's, angle. What's he gonna do? Oh, he's... Have a rotten day! Yeah! <laughs> I win! <laughs> By the way, we're playing Wario World. Missed out on most of the stream, damn you, Breath of the Wild. It's okay, sir. Oh, look! Let's play the Hawaiian music for the Matrix Room. 
Hey, it's all the little Spriteling fellas. We, we saved introduce, them. We didn't introduce what game we were playing, and I just announced it now. Just, oh, yeah? By the way, we were playing Wario You World. did it! You defeated all the evil monsters. Everything will be all right now. That's good. Wario, we're saved. Thank you. The evil Black Jewel has been smashed to powder. The monsters won't come back now, but even if they do, I think we can handle them. The monsters won't come back. As a reward, we're going to rebuild your ruined castle. We're not that strong, so without a lot of us, I doubt we can rebuild your castle right, but we'll do our <laughs> best. <laughs> oh, it's not them creating a new one, it's them rebuilding it. Yes. With the manpower of however many you rescue. Imagine if it was like the best and it still wasn't that good. Cue the little sprightling dance. Yeah, look at us. I'm just reminded of other little crit critters with magic dances like this. They have that in Super Monkey Ball, apparently. Tingle, tingle, kululumpa. Wah ha! And it's a mansion in the, in, the, in the swamp. Oh, you don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember my first sprite plane. <laughs> Man, this adventure was actually kind of short. Yeah? Well, that's... When you're Wario, all adventures are short. You deal with problems quickly. <laughs> with very few punches, because they're strong fucking punches. You know, it, it, it kind of made sense that we were a bit nastier in our attitudes, because Wario's a kind of a nasty person. Voice. The only voice in the game. Charles Martin. <laughs> Godspeed, Charles. Vocalization by Leslie Swan. She was Peach. And also Mona. She's two timing on Mario. Mona sex. It is purple, not black, Jesus. Like Shadow the Hedgehog, they're black and red aliens. Well, we, <laughs> we, we, we'll get to Shadow the Hedgehog. Eventually. eventually. Not, not anytime soon, I hope. I guess I didn't need to buy it on GameCube now that we have Dol Dolphin working. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> you own a copy of two Shadow copies. the Hedgehog. You own two copies of Shadow the Hedgehog. I have it on PS2 and I have it on GameCube. The credits are short. Like the game. A surprisingly small group of people made a really solid game. I wonder if they reused the engine from something else. If this is the same as Mario Sunshine. Maybe touched up for Wario. Yeah, it like made it less uh, floaty. And uncontrollable. Could Luigi jump in Luigi's Mansion? Wait, here we go. Treasure, Treasure video games. I don't remember if he could or not. Can he jump? Yeah. In Luigi's Mansion. Uh. Did he? I don't think he did. I. I all he did was like handle the vacuum and suck up go. Ah! It's even better than before. Good end. Best in. That's it! That's the stuff! Now that's the kind of place a guy like me deserves! <laughs> fuck you. Small group of people make good games before they go money mad. Yeah. Well, it's also a good, good group of people. Executive produced by Awada. The best games are... The, the most hit or miss games, the ones that are either have, have astonishingly high highs and like really low lows... Are the ones made by single people? Yeah. Like now, before we call it, I'm gonna check the other save files. Yeah. I want to check eight eleven. Uh, six eleven, rather. I'm gonna see if we have a uh, a no no jewel no treasure one. Yeah, that's. Because I remember one. we did that once. I don't remember if we. Yeah, did. this is the one. This looks like the one. Let's yep, see. this is the one. Uh, one sprightling, minimum number of crystals. Yeah, that's the one. No treasure. Avoided every piece of treasure in the game. <laughs> Let's oh. get my castle back. <laughs> you want to take him this time? Yeah, sure. Do we just got to fight him once? Yeah. Jack's going to take on the Black Jewel. What the f... Those are our secret Game Boy Advance games that you didn't unlock. Oh, you can play Game Boy Advance games? By getting... That's what the treasure does. I guess it unlocks, like, micro game stuff. Nice. Oh, we didn't get a chance to show them off. Oh, well. I've never done them before. I have the adapter. Oh, I can plug fuck. in a Game Boy Advance. Oh, fuck. I gotta do this with four hearts. Oh, yeah. Jack's playing on challenge mode. 
That's okay, you got money, right? Maybe. Oh. Zero. Not one coin. Oh, fuck. So, yep, four hearts. Uh, you can't tank the fire, I guess. You gotta save the Spriteling. Oh, darn. Well, that's oh. a heart gone! Yeah, lose half a heart from that. Alright, fine, I'll come back to you. It's okay if you get trapped. You can just dodge a couple fireballs, you'll be fine. Ah! Alright, I guess I'm doing another run. Did you die already? Nope. I'm just circling around. Hi! Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, shit! There we go. Bob, Bob said it! <laughs> Give me a fucking piece of garlic. Are we old because we remember Tourette's guy? At least in internet terms. Is that an early 2000s thing, right? What? Oh my god. What? <laughs> He's closing in on you! <laughs> that... that was clever. I've never seen him do that. What, just back and forth? Yeah. Uh-oh, you can't bribe the Reaper this time! True, game over. Returning to title screen. Okay. No, it's not no, okay! No, I'm not- so, can, can you not say no? No. <laughs> I don't want to go! You can't make me! You did pretty well. You try it. <laughs> Actually, no, I'll try it again. I was okay. kind of, uh... Kind of fucking around? I I wasn't used to the, the intricate attack patterns of the Dark Crystal. Tourette's guy still occasionally uploads. He does?! I guess. There was a rumor for a while that he died. Yeah, it turns out he was just in prison. Oh yeah, was he? <laughs> I, I've never heard of somebody doing that, just saying, just like, dispelling a death, like, somebody faking a death order to, like, avoid the fact he was in jail. Yeah. Wario should have gotten a golden cap in Mario 64 DS. Sure. Uh, what would cap. Luigi get? The ghost cap. Oh, I mean, oh, no. as far as, like, the metal cap. He's the going. bronze cap. Yeah. Tin cap. It was so weird starting that game as Yoshi. Yoshi controls very strangely compared to the other characters. Yes. Oh, is there... Is he... Can you just go between his legs? Uh, that's what I'm trying to find out. Yeah, you, you kind of can! He caught you with the timing on the laser, I think. Oh, no, he's doing it anyway. He thinks he's trapped you. I've got you. Ow! Why'd I do that? Alright. Jewel is one eighth down. Wario, three eighths down. Dad it and I just turned around. I missed the games when Wario couldn't be hurt. Yeah. Ah fuck! I didn't even touch it! You serious, bro? Them wide wide berth lasers. Oh, that was too close. I don't know what to do. I mean, you could just... I can't believe I'm saying this to you, but play safer? More cautiously? <laughs> Fuck! I... You want me to do it? <laughs> I... I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm just impatient. I just wanted this to be over, and I, uh... Embryo's gonna kick your ass for beating this gem boss. Why, why would Embryo care? 
Oh, cause he, cause he's the gems guy in in Crash Two. <laughs> in Brio, thought his name was Cortex. Uh, N Cortex, N Brio is like a little Frankenstein dude uh, who was working for Cortex in the first game. Uh, yeah, and then he, then he, re he betrayed him, and he was replaced with N Jin, who is Igor. <laughs> Doctor Cortex. You can't skip this either. Damn it! You gotta watch the world get destroyed. Oh, it wired back. Wee. <laughs> the dark. How did Waluigi get his psychic powers? Wasn't that like a, a, a jewel or something? Yeah, I think, him? I think so. Is it the same jewel? That's what I was just wondering. Can't just run through the fire. Is he gonna shoot fire? This is me playing. Yeah. I haven't suddenly gotten better. I like. I for some for whatever reason, some days I just don't have patience to like wait. And, do proper strategies. I just go in and do it. It's summer. It's hot. We've been going for a few hours. Oh, that's small enough. Whatever. Alright, send your fire at me. Yeah, you can, with enough hearts, you can afford to play aggress more aggressively. With enough coins, same, the same goes true. When you have neither, though, it's a wa eat wa world. <laughs> this is Wario 99% mode. Lowest pile driver. <laughs> Stop pile driver. Right here. Now here. Ah, stupid crystal. So it kind of leads you sometimes. It does, if you're moving. So the realistic thing is that to move every once in a while, stop, and then move again, and then stop, and move again. <laughs> it's, it caught, it caught it, on to your shit! It tries. Wario can outsmart his treasure, though, with a little effort. I wasn't thinking, I just... Alright, I'm right here. Come get me. Damn it. Alright, send your fireballs. Not like Wario has any experience with those. Actually, I don't remember if he does. Was Did Mario Land 2 have fire flowers? Uh. Because in Mario Land 1, it wasn't fire flowers, it was super balls. And. Yeah. I don't know. Because the Game Boy. At that time, they, they couldn't they couldn't come up with a way to handle fireballs. Gravity was too much. They also couldn't come up with a way to handle uh, bouncing turtle shells, so the Koopas exploded. They were a different kind of turtle. <laughs> Mario games ha always are slightly different in some way. Yeah. No two Mario games are ever truly the same. And the Goombas in Mario World are Galoombas. They're different. They're, instead of being rotten mushrooms, they're rotten berries. It's like, okay, the difference between regular Mario, right? And, yeah. Uh, and, uh, like, Super Mario Brothers 2 is, is quite different. But it introduced Peach's floating shit. And, uh, and Luigi's flutter jump. Yes. And then also a bunch of Mario enemies. But no, like, regular Mario enemies. I wonder what it would be like if Luigi had his own proper platformer, like Wario World. Because Luigi's Mansion wasn't a platformer. No, it was just Luigi just doing stuff. I mean, he had new Luigi U, a... but that's just... That's just a recolor. There is a game Mario's missing. Yeah, I guess that counts. It's uh, it's when the Mar, it's when, isn't that like a, like an educational game? It is. I think it's the, 
That's the one where Luigi, like, tours, like, locations, and Mario's Time Machine is the one where they go through different histor historical periods. Oh, uh, yeah. Damn it. Fuck it. This shit. This shit. I'm a so sick of this shit. This is shit. Well, oh, Luigi, oh. give me a hand here. Nah, I'm a cool playing tennis and riding go karts. <laughs> I'm least... not a here to fight any see ultimate evils. At least, at least my friend knows what he wants. My cousin? Ashley, Dr. Krygor. Ah, you guys aren't the real friends at all. You just make a crappy micro games. <laughs> micro games, games that can be played. Okay. Like all right. Wow. He's sad because he lost. Wario wins. He did the least possible work. Effortless. Uh, I like to call that the minimum effort run. It actually is tricky in some spots, though, because you have to actively avoid some treasure that's placed in your path. Yeah. As far as the statue pieces go. Yeah. Oh, there's nobody. Where are all the sprite? Oh, hey, one spriteling I rescued. You defeated all the evil monsters. Everything will be all right. We're saved! <laughs> <laughs> he owns all the, of them now. You accidentally instituted a fucking uh, dictatorship. They're crying in the cages. Yep. I think we can handle them. We're gonna rebuild your ruined castle. I'll rebuild your uh, ruined castle. Here it goes. Here we go. Be nice if Rayman had different endings depending on how many things you rescued, instead of forcing you to 100% the game. For a boss fight with no closure. <laughs> he just fucking runs off! I never got to punch Mr. Dark in the schnoz. Behold the cage dance! Alright. Ooh. What? Did he say, oh no? Alright, can we hit, can we bypass this at least? I hope so. Uh, I hope you like credits! So how are you? At least they're short. Yeah, that's, that's fair enough. I guess we could have looked it up on YouTube, but... GameCube Mario game endings involve houses, Luigi's Mansion, and Wario World. And money. Well, they're they're the two rich brothers. Yeah. Mario's poor, and we assume that Waluigi is poor. Wasn't Waluigi in the beginning of his, like, fan game just sleeping out in, like, the wilderness? Is he? Yeah, like Sonic the Hedgehog. He's just... He is... He... <laughs> Waluigi is his world Sonic the Hedgehog. He's like the reincarnation of a Moby. Except he's kind... Except he's... Amoral? Eve? Waluigi is too cool to appear in your games. <laughs> too bad, Waluigi time. <laughs> oh, I have a, I have a Waluigi in e edit as well. A Waluigi edit? Yeah. Of uh, Fire uh, Pro. Yeah. They're not called CAWs, they're called edits. Okay, I would just say characters, but yeah. whatever. <laughs> That's what the game calls them, edits! Okay. Well, I call them characters. Alright. Oh, at least someone- so Chrome loves credits. It gives her lots of time to make- uh, to make zombies while credits are rolling. <laughs> and or ghosts. Make some ghost weapons. Hey Chrome, new highlights video out. <laughs> hey Chrome. Tentacle on gems, is that a monster girl? Uh, we haven't had a gem girl. Yet. But we haven't played Paradox, so who knows? My nipples are hard as diamonds. Oh wait, my nipples are diamonds. <laughs> I would love that, a jokester monster girl. I mean, she's still gonna molest you, but she'll make jokes about it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, it wasn't a shack, it was literally just a fucking tent. But, but, what did you do? This is just Waluigi's house.
Hey bro, you camping too? What what am I kidding? I'm not camping, I live out here. I like to imagine Waluigi is just like Cherry in Urusei Atsura. Just lives in a tent, eats garbage. <laughs> There's a fuck bunch of fucking cats. Takes care of a cat takes care of cats. <laughs> Uh, tells people he's enlightened. <laughs> he, hey, if you if you give me ten coins, I'll tell you your fortune. Your fortune is you got ripped off. I'm a genie, don't you know? If you... That was Warrior World. We did it. We got both endings. They're intermediary endings where he has various nicer houses that you can yeah. look up on YouTube or something. Yes, yes. Like much like Shadow the Hedgehog. Yeah, that has lots of endings. Yeah. Are we gonna get to them all? Probably not. No, probably almost definitely not. <laughs> all we right. got heroes before that. Yeah. Uh, right. we got. We I don't know what we'll start next. We got a few games. Probably Majora or Pokemon tomorrow. We'll see. All right. Or Source Spyro. We got a few things we're playing. Yep. Thank you guys for watching. All right. We appreciate it. Take care. We'll see you next time.